Jojoba and <laughs> no worry and ma. This parks. This, this, this parks. What's uh, the <laughs> microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode two forty six. Jesus, episode 246. I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson's friend is here. And <laughs> Savon is here. And we got Rye Guy over there in a little yeah. work blazer, hey? In his, and some in his jeans. Friday fit. The blazer with the t-shirt. I know what you're doing. You're ready to pump up the world. <laughs> Gentlemen, how y'all doing? What's up, man? I'm burning up already with this fucking light up there. Good, man. Feeling good. Feeling good, it's feeling Friday. great. It's yeah, Friday. It was, yeah, it was kind of a nice day for a little bit. It was a good day. It rained in the morning. Yeah. And then, then it got nice. Yeah. I like this weather. Yeah. It rains every Friday in New York, but nobody pays attention to me. I'm just pointing that out. There. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pointing. I'm just putting that out there. You've been, you've been saying that for a few weeks. I, I've been saying that for a few years. Nobody listens to me. <laughs> I like it. No, I know you do. Yeah, I like it. I that. hate it. But, but why? I only hate it in the summertime, like because it's, you only get. But it's not the summertime right now. I know, but it once it starts getting like spring, summer, it rains every Friday in New York. Every summer, forget about it. it definitely rains every single Friday in New York in the summertime. All right, we'll, we'll keep a close eye on this. And keep, keep the public <laughs> developing updated. story. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know how y'all feel at the end of the summer when we only yeah, have that's, that's eight more with weather. Chill on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> eight days to chill. Eight, 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 eight days of good weather in the R- summertime. Rory, how you, fe- how you feeling? Brand new album in stores, huh? It, it is. The Juice, uh-huh. the Juice Volume 1. You emotional look like oranges. you're feeling maybe a little emotional. I always feel a little emotional, and okay. I'm, I'm always pretty orange. That's true. So, emotional, this is true. Rory. This is true. You're always <laughs> yeah. a little orange. Yeah. So you got the shape up today. I see you, kid. <laughs> I see you. Listen, that, man. That, release day. You got to get a shape I, up. Nah, you listen. True. I'm That's not mad at you that. did on a Friday when we got a little cut. It's, it's, about who got next? It's release day. <laughs> I'm I had an appointment. Now. You walked in. How many, how many you got? Yeah. Please. I always have an appointment. Yo, I was so mad when the barbershops transitioned to appointments. I like it now. Yeah, I love that. No, I do like it now. It's more efficient. Yeah, yeah it's more organized. But Even though my barber still... It, he got to get He got to get more He ain't got it together yet him. Yeah I love him But he just got to get more he just, he just stuck in his ways man. Is it him or you though Cause you be no, going it's him. You be going to get cut At like 11.45 at night I, Like yeah, when, I'm, when he's empty <laughs> yo, When there ain't nobody there Yeah <laughs> Like uh 4 a.m. Type, no. type of weird relationship Yeah you got I, I try to do that When he, he I want to be the last one Right before he leave out Why What's the strategy there Cause I hate going there And I gotta wait And no matter what time I call him and say Yo I'll be there at 6 When I get there at 6 It's like 3, 4 more niggas yeah, barbers aren't that punctual. So I'm like, damn. But I neither is ball. For, mm, no, for word. a haircut, I'm always <laughs> yeah. punctual. For, for my barber, I'm always. But I, not I, for I, a I, podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was here before y'all yeah, last week. See, they don't never yo, what, give me. Yo, you, what episode you, is You've been here since episode <laughs> 77, <laughs> what, what, what It's been a couple times. They'll never, <laughs> give, me credit. Yeah. They'll, they'll never give me credit. It's cool, though. You I just want to say that you've been here since episode 77. And we're on 247. And, and I don't know what 247 minus 77 is, but it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> God damn it. Y'all don't, be, y'all don't be giving me credit. It's cool. All right. Uh, where y'all want to start? We have a bunch, uh, of, uh, a bunch of shit to... Man, you know what, man? I know where we start. We start with fucking Janae. That's where we start. We should. Because y'all, nobody listens to me. Come on, give it to me, man. <laughs> give it to me. Come on. It sounded like there was some bars somebody, in there. somebody else start. Y'all start and then toss it to me for my grand entrance of <sighs> well, I we, told everybody so. Listen, man, we knew what type of time it was when she announced the entire album would be freestyles. And yeah. we know when she gets in her freestyle bag, it's like when Drake looks at the clock. She was coming off top of the dome? No. That was written down. <laughs> She freestyled or written. <laughs> okay. Joe, you, you seem to have a lot she of thoughts about this. She got a shit off. This. I know that. Yeah. What is that? That's a great song. She got a shit off. I, but let's not get into that yet. That is a great song. When I came in here, whenever that was, and told y'all that Homeboy said to me, hey, <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Janae's defense, in a very polite that way. song was recorded a while ago. That's what she said. <laughs> she did. That's, that's what she said. Oh, she put man. out an image that's that said, yo, not in this space anymore. That's what she yo, said. I'm nigga. just telling you what Janae said. I'm not saying I believe her. 
I'm just telling you She said listen That that record was Whoa. recorded So long ago I'm way past that Define yeah. how long I got, ago I got rid of that That's energy And I was I moved past As soon as the record okay. was done You know I women in, in their time frame exactly. Are always a little off yeah. yeah So you just recorded it last week Yeah exactly It's mad long ago Yeah mad long ago Those emotions <laughs> don't exist anymore Do you think she tried to clean it up With, with the IG post to Sean Because she knew this This was coming Yeah because Sean probably Was just at her house The other day Instagram Before the record came out <laughs> April 13th Janae Aiko says In response to Big Sean's Nipsey post We'll just read it again I know we've read it here before But earlier As I was doing research I read it And I said Ha <laughs> ha That's what you said Yes <laughs> She says You are so special to me uh, To the world while we're both still on this planet, I just want to say I love you beyond measure, even though I get big mad and you trigger the fuck out of me. Period. Mm, the rollout. Cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's called foreshadowing in literature. <laughs> foreshadowing. <laughs> you make me feel, and I appreciate that, because I thought I was dead inside. My ego, blah, 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 blah. None of that matters. But come on, fam. <laughs> she said triggered. Yeah, whenever they feel dead inside, though. that... And then these chords dropped. <laughs> I got this is the most beautiful diss track that I have. <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> it really is. Oh man, what it's a amazing. woman! Some nice chords. What a sentimental oh, sweetheart. Is that the? Go That's figure. Is that the same keys as? Uh, <laughs> Let's stop <laughs> there. How do you start with? Uh, wait, hold up. Mo's figuring something out over yeah, here. Wait. It's not, no, it just sounds like the same chords as uh, the thank you. Yo, is it gonna Ariana, rain next uh, week? <laughs> no, it is <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Joe. Okay. Okay. What were we saying? Uh, we we're talking about Janet. I just thought I would come in here and you guys would tell me how right I was about everything. I didn't uh, think, that's I, that's I didn't, what you picture what happened? Yeah, I didn't think we would have like a long drawn out that's discussion. Never about it. It's never gonna happen. Nah, oh, man. I came in here and I told y'all when I told home when I told y'all that homeboy said, nah, it's all dead. Mm-hmm. That that wasn't true. And then Maul said to me, How can you tell somebody who's telling you that him and his <laughs> girl or him and his ex is cool and you saying they're not cool? And I said, easy, just like that. Well, and Janae then cleared said, those rumors up and said this was from a different time. Mm, she okay. was a different person. All right, so let's yeah. all right, so let's do it. She so. left those emotions on the record, and that was it. She moved on. Oh wait, you think this is the last of it? <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> this is the first chapter. <laughs> this is the first bullet. Hey, wait, turn the turn. Stop this! Stop this! Should this record sound this beautiful? <laughs> like, yeah. You serving them bars, but that's what women that's, do. No, that's what Janae does too. Well, she does that very. She well. does that really well. She's gonna give you a beautiful melody, beautiful keys, and then sound real she's innocent. Be, yeah, she's gonna be talking that shit. Mm. Yeah, once she got off, I fucked you on a boat, and then I met your baby mother in such a beautiful tone. I knew she <laughs> she was Teflon. You can't you can't beat this girl. <laughs> yeah. It's impossible. You ever fuck on a boat? Yeah. Yeah. On a boat? No. Absolutely. Y'all ever been on a boat? <laughs> uh, the ferry doesn't count. Yeah, what's the bullshit? <laughs> in New York? It's the Staten Island ferry. <laughs> I've been on a circle line a few times. Nasty ass. That's a nasty ass tour around the fucking Hudson. <laughs> uh, wait, a tour around the Hudson is nasty anyway. Disgusting. Yeah. I know I don't get New Yorkers. What? I laugh every time I look out the window at some shit or used to and see, see the yachts in the Hudson. <laughs> that is a nasty place to bring a yacht. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> trying to yacht around the Hudson. That's what I was trying no, to say. No, when niggas be on their jet skis and that shit. That's, that's disgusting. That's I'm like, oh yeah, y'all tripping. <laughs> Never. That water splashed all in your mouth me. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see at Chelsea Piers? It's like kayaking, 150 bucks. I'm like, nope. wait, you're paying $150 to get in that water? Hey, that's, that's for the tetanus shot. I never <laughs> bothered to learn what kayaking means. You it's like it's soon do some white people shit. It it's, it's definitely it's some white, definitely people. Yeah, white extreme. My mom's sport. and dad never told me. Then nah, I'm cool. We ain't know what a kayak <laughs> was. Me <laughs> popping Miss Faye wasn't just no, kayaking. No, <laughs> can't spell kayak. It's a tough word to spell. It is. Uh, all right, so y'all don't want to tell me I'm right. It's fine. Let's keep. Let's keep talking about you, it. You were on. right. You were right. No, no, no. Don't you give right. me your fucking. Let's stuff. just see if you're right moving forward now. Do you think that was the only? Well, no. Well, no. Rory's down with me now. I've been down when I saw the freestyle shit, but I'm not ruling out my guy Sean yet. If he gets in his no interviews bag. I think mm. I think Sean is gonna, gonna tell us the back? other side. Mm. See, that you raise a good question, Rory. <laughs> uh, when girls when girls send bars at a dude, mm-hmm. 
Mm. He has the right to bar her fucking head off, right? <laughs> Come he, on. He oh, does. Yeah. He does that honest at talk. that point. No, yeah. he, he does, but we're handicapped in this situation because we have to be the bigger man. Like, I know. We can't, I know. quote, spill what happened. Like, you got to be like, oh, I still love her. Everything's cool. And then just move on. And nah, like, he can yeah. clap back. He, he can. We got to talk he's about. He's going to look nuts. Men are handicapped in this situation. You can't. No, Rory's absolutely right. And later on, we need to talk about, we need to create more ways for men to move on. There's not many. No, no. We, we talked about it last week. Get money, fuck through or it, fuck through it, and yeah. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all don't think that list should be updated? Nah, nah. That's what, what, that's you what, would you, what you think we should add to it? <laughs> Poetry? I don't, I don't know. Judge Judy been doing it for me. Judge Judy, <laughs> what? you been watching? Like, you been well, solving cases yeah, from the bed? This, this <laughs> yes. <laughs> the this, this case is intriguing. <laughs> oh, what's Judy gonna do oh, next? Oh, this one should be good. Judge Judy. <laughs> Uh, back to uh, back to homegirl. All right, so I don't think that bar. Uh, I don't think that Sean is going to bar her head off. I don't think he's. A, don't I don't, and I don't think that because you can't do it. Like if you, this is pretty, you can't. This is being barred to death, though. I don't know. He gave uh, Ariana Grande. I don't fuck with you. So no, nah, that was the other. Oh, uh, that was a different. Naya, what Naya Rivera? Uh. <laughs> wait, wait, what? wait. Oh, uh, yeah, that wasn't fair. Wait, I don't know who that song was for. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> I think that was for Ariana Grande. That's what no, I, I thought think it was. was after. That was for Naya? I don't know who Naya Rivera is either. Me either. By the way. It's one Listen, of the tiny girls. You talking about a Big Sean record was for her? <laughs> it was for somebody. <laughs> Big Sean record. Yes. Yeah, I don't fuck with you. The, the, the good one. Okay. The good one. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Do what you meant. What you <laughs> look, look. <laughs> the good Rory, one. Rory, play the record, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let you get in the trouble. The good one. <laughs> Wait for that phone call again. Hmm. That is a friend of yours, Janae. <laughs> Rory, turn it down so we could talk over her. Is this the same key as Thank You Next? This has to be the same notes. It might be. It probably is. Ooh, same, is that the same progression, same, wait, is that the sub? at least, yeah. Huh? Same progression, at least, maybe. Definitely. Yeah. I see. Uh, I think you're on to something more. Just saying. That's Thank You Next, bro. I know mm. Thank that You is, Next. That is good to know, though, through the argument. You can still beat. Like, that was reassuring. I felt, I felt her when she said that. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to hear you. No, <laughs> no, that was all I had on that on that. Part. Uh, yo, every ass, every girl posted this fucking. You knew it was coming. Man, you bitches like, need therapy, was... man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that leads me to the point I wanted to make: Is Janae Aiko toxic? Hmm. Is she a toxic woman? This has been what five, six years of no accountability. Like, hmm. you have to be the common denominator at some point. We've mm. gotten a whole discography of this shit, and I've never heard a single bit of accountability. Did you say a whole place. discography or a whole discography? Whole. whole. Okay. I just making sure she is a hoe. Just making sure she's a relationship girl. She's in a relationship all the time. That's true. She's not a hoe. I have never heard her been like, "Yeah, I might have fucked up through that one." Mm. Not once. Mm. She's th- she's threatened men with other physical violence. She put a video together of every gang member in L.A. <laughs> that was a sub <laughs> to her ex. You scared? That, that yeah. <laughs> she did put a fucking video. right. I'm scared. She, he, he motherfucking right. I'm. Um, yeah, she did put a video together. So, so I have to ask, and I saw all the women posting these quotes, and I was like, "What if a man said that?" Mm, shit. We'd be called toxic. Oh, it's, it's definitely men are not even allowed to say what if a man said that. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, no, we can't. Y'all know we that, can't y'all that, that we can't even say that. Yeah, no, that's fucked up. That. And you know what would happen if a man said that? Toxic. Janae might be toxic. Just want to point something out. I'm not she, saying she yes sounds, or no. I, I won't just, say I've toxic, just, but she does sound like she might have some accountability issues. Oh, she definitely does. They all do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rem isn't here today. I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Get your shit off, Parks. Go ahead, Parks. <laughs> Cook. Uh, yeah, man. And just because she sounds beautiful doing it, she's an amazing artist and writer. That's a, that's another bad thing. When a girl's a really good writer, you're fucked. Yeah. Like, whether that be with texting. When she's great with words. Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah. Like, you, ever, you, ever, you ever fuck like, with a girl yeah. that was, like, like good at writing and she'd just be bodying <laughs> no. you on the text? <laughs> Joe, shut Not up. Not English, at least. Joe, 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 Joe shut up. Joe, right. just stop. <laughs> no. Joe. What you mean, no? <laughs> Are you triggered? <laughs> Joe, Joe has definitely been listening to this in the house crying the last three days. <laughs> for sure. 
For sure. Hey. I don't know if I'm playing it or she playing it. <laughs> I don't know who's playing this in my breakup. Somebody knows. This is a nice breakup song. It's a great record. Emotional R just put some nice breakup music out too. Yeah. Uh, and it was another young lady to put out some nice breakup music. I was appreciative of all the nice breakup music that came out. Just, just for you, it helped you. Well, y'all know I listen to breakup music. Period. Yeah. Even when you're not broken up. <laughs> so, yeah. The fact that it's broken up, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's just new fire. Yeah, breakup music sucks though when you're like broken up. That shit is great. Like I love this this triggered freestyle. <laughs> if I was going through it, you know, I, th- I think the exact opposite. I don't want to hear no party music during a breakup because I ain't partying, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's I'm chilling. I'm oh, chilling no, no, in no. my head. No, I listen to regular music so all res- the time. I'm so reserved internally. Like, I don't want it. That ain't turning nothing up. The breakup shit is like, all right, that's just there. That's just background Wait. music. Yeah. Wait, have you? It's not, it's not bothering nothing. Yeah, it's just, Wait, it's let, just me lobby get a temp- music. let me get a quick yeah. temperature check. Have you you pulled out the Namin song? Your record? My record? Ba- I don't Bow Wow, Bow Wow, and T Pain? Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, it's not that bad yet. No. Okay. No. no. Bow Wow and T-Pain. Well, that's Joe's record. Hold up now, guys. Hold up. Hold up. I decided to see where his head was at. Because if he was playing that one, we need to, might need to check on our guy. <laughs> no, if I'd have came in here again like I did last week, y'all had to check on me. Ma, don't sleep. Hey, don't sleep now. No, that's a great record. Don't sleep, though. It's a great record. Hey, nigga done felt like this, God damn it. Who was that singing in the back? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Amani. Ne- Amani trying to that sneak out. in another one. <laughs> we never figured that out. I know. I think it's Joe, actually. No, it's not. The R&B singer, Joe? No, actually, it's not. Hell no. Oh, man. Don't you hate that your house got windows? <laughs> <laughs> and you have to look out them like, you damn. All of them. <laughs> you keep looking out at all of them? Like, I do damn. be looking out the window like, oh, all right, that bush look nice <laughs> still. <laughs> Not like damn. Uh, Say all right, Bal. Mm. Enough, enough. He caught that pocket. <laughs> Bal no one that you shouldn't be. Yeah, no, I felt it. Yeah, he killed. Get out of here, Savon. Uh, Janae got a whole album of Big Sean disses coming his way. Let, let's just get right to it. She got a whole. Here's another threat with mm-hmm. gang members. Might fuck around and go crazy on Cuz. Might fuck around have to pay me in blood. Mm-hmm. That's a gang on Tandra. Yeah. <sighs> Don't even ask how. Well, Janae's a gang member. I know. Yeah, she's blood cuz. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's a blood cuz. The funny shit, I be wanting to see, like, <laughs> I need to see, like, a video of Big Sean and what he be doing when, like, this song drops. Chilling? Like, when chicks drop these songs, that this He's going to give us another workout video. You know that. <laughs> to let you know it's all good or he ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Get your weight up. Yo. Yeah, that's kind of old guys in the breakup. Yeah, just work yeah. out. A couple gym videos. Yeah. Getting the summer body ready in the summer. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. I, I had a whole Middle day. of summer. <laughs> yeah. August, here I come. I was mad. I was mad looking out the window like, damn, I'm going to be that, that guy going to the gym. I'm late for the summer yeah. body. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Definitely late for the summer body. <laughs> Fuck it. It's all good. Going in there skinny still. It's all good. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, damn, you niggas got your, been working on your arms since December, huh? <laughs> niggas been in there since November. Getting it in. Uh, and why the dude? Hey, that's on the uh, that's on the dude uh, move on list. Go yeah, to the, the gym. gym. The gym is the definitely gym. Yeah, sure. It's a big one. Yeah, I know we're joking around, but all niggas really try to do is just look better. That's it. That's all we trying to really do after a breakup is not look like shit. But like, we, can't we can't really can't get like, like new shit. hair the way chicks yeah, can. No. Yeah. <laughs> like we, we get the same that. shape up. Yeah, <laughs> you just got to look better and start dating a really pretty girl. Well, that is the worst advice <laughs> I have ever heard. I don't know, you. it's pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, I might be to tell you, bro. I got the answers, man. Whatever you want them, just come yeah, get them. Maybe, maybe accidentally throw some chicks in your story. Yeah. Oh, shit. I posted it. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you hear Rory? <laughs> Do you accidentally post Oh, shit. Yeah. Share. Share. Yeah. Share with those eight close friends only. Just her? Yeah. <laughs> just, just She's the only her. one of your close friends yeah. list. <laughs> just send it to her. Just send it to her. That's some sick shit. Just send it to her. Like, oh, shit, my bad. I meant to share oh, that with I everybody. still had you on that list of just you. Yeah, it's just you. <laughs> you were my closest friend. First of all, I ain't tapped that little close friends tab. Not a one time. No, nah, I tweeted, either. man. I want to tell people, time. like, hey, we're not close friends. Yeah. Get me off this list. For real. People got me on that shit that I don't even know. I'm like, fam, 
I don't know you. We're, we're not close. Why I'm a little you? sick of niggas just sending little podcast clips. I'm like, fam, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I was there. I know what I said. <laughs> big, big up. But I uh, know. Big up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back to Janae. Do we have any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts on Janae, even though I feel like Wayne said really said shit yet about Janae. Listen, you know where I stand. I'm I'm just praying for praying for Sean. Mm. Praying yeah. for the, the past victims. She gonna learn to stop playing with a nigga that's in album mode. <laughs> Sean, I see. Sean, I don't think Sean gonna give her no bars though. Yeah, all right. He gonna slip. Yeah, he gonna slip right. a few in there. No. I yeah, so. all right. I don't think so. His biggest hit is a breakup record. So one hundred percent. Oh, and he gave us Ashley. Y'all don't remember that record? No. He no. smoked one of his exes. <laughs> He smoked Ashley. <laughs> Yo, Ashley got his, bars. His whole first album, he was smoking one of them girls from Detroit. Bounce Back is definitely a record about after a breakup. And I Had Miguel Smoker. Oh, I do remember this record. It's called Ashley. He yeah, didn't like this record. try to hide it. <laughs> Listen to Miguel. Lydia, Miguel cursing. <laughs> Just so fucking lucky. Yeah, let's not count my guy out, man. He's been down this road before. He's not new to this? No, nah, he's not he's new true to this. true to this. He's comfortable in this zone right here. He better not lose. <laughs> That's a tough competitor. Because all his other chicks couldn't, like, write back. Oh, no, I guess Ariana gave him a few bars. Did she? Started out, got a brand new Benz. Uh, right, 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 right. All right, right. Thank you. Uh, right, Thank don't you, play next. Songs, that <laughs> That's true. Thank you, next. Ariana was barring all them niggas. That's true. But in a nice way. She, she learned from each one of them. <laughs> Mar- Mariah. Yo, I'm so tired became of Became a line. better person. Mariah ain't play no games with him. Oh, yeah, no. What I'm, what I'm just saying, all I'm saying is you can't sleep on the R&B chicks. Yeah. If we do a tally, they might be up a little bit. Damn. No, we, we really party. need to look at who's writing these records. Oh, that was Janae's pen. And the next one is her pen. <laughs> <laughs> and the one coming after that is her pen, too. Okay. That's oh, you her, think that's she, her. seem like disappointed. Mole seem disappointed that Janae's sending bars at Sean. Like, chill. No, no, no. It's uh, listen. That's your favorite rapper. You know, shit? get get your shit off. I'm not mad at that. I think it's funny. I think all the shit is funny. They gonna end up right back together. How you know? Because I mean, they. It, I don't feel like they broke up. Like it was a, a nasty breakup. I don't feel like it was so over. We don't know. I mean, we, but we don't judge, know. Judging by triggers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was nasty. And then everything It wasn't said, a public one And then you know the, the the post she wrote about him And everything Let you know that it's still You know It's still love there Hold up for a second You Let's... can tell when people are over like, You can tell Like you mm. You know Nas and Khalees are over Like <laughs> We're yeah, not yeah. getting I think that's safe to assume Yeah <laughs> Like you know when people are over I, I'm still pulling for him <laughs> Good luck <laughs> You'll be pulling for some years bro I'm still pulling for Anthony Hamilton and Charlene Damn, you still pulling for that? That was <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of good dub. <laughs> How many years ago? I think there's still hope between the two of them. Fifteen years. <laughs> Y'all Damn. pulling for a lot of people. Toxic. Shouldn't she leave? No, I don't let her catch <laughs> like, like, what are you talking room? about? She don't want to. Don't let her catch you face to face. If she see you, mm-hmm. it's on site, nigga. I'm gonna catch a case. Don't let me see you face to face. I'm gonna write your name in blood. Mm-hmm. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. This is a this is a premonition. This is called premeditation, right here. It's a threat. This is a confession, right here. Yes, <laughs> it's played in court. <laughs> Toxicity at its finest. Hey. <laughs> oh, he must have called it bitter. <laughs> that's, that's the worst thing to do, Sean. Word. Certain keywords you just can't say. Yeah. You have to like explain bitter. You can't just say the word bitter. Like, oh, you just you're lingering around and it's <laughs> and you're upset while you're harboring. doing it. You got to throw harboring in there. <laughs> Chicks love to harbor. <laughs> Yo, you're upset from something from the past, <laughs> and it's relevant it's now somehow. <laughs> it all makes sense today. Yo, it's just words you can't it's use. It's leaving a bad taste. Yo, <laughs> Yo Sean calling calling Janae uh, bitter is funny, and then she put it in a verse. Do you know she let that nigga have it? Because you know that was a trigger for her. Oh yeah, clearly. It's and bitter. she want to keep screaming trigger at him. He's fine. You can't call a woman bitter. You can't call her emotional. You can't call her. Uh, 
some other things. They just certain words they just turn into a whole different argument. Don't well, call her bitter though. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, but it's just right from the jump. It's it's such women knew from the beginning you would ruin everything. You do it every time. Then why did you let me? Yeah. <laughs> Get out <laughs> Why women always swear they knew oh, I knew this would happen Yeah She knew Alright She had a feeling It's women That women's intuition Premonition thing. Yeah women's intuition Women's, women's intuition women's, in, women's institution <laughs> Women's intuition <laughs> Yeah say all that shit And then say I want time to heal all <laughs> Well, Yo, I mean, don't let me catch you face to face, fam. But but that's her time she will heal us. Her. Yeah, but that's like when you curse her the fuck out or or send the fuck you forever text. Yeah, I just still want to be friends though. I still still got love for you. <laughs> you never have love for them <laughs> when you say I still got love for you. <laughs> <laughs> if you say that, then I don't. No, she sent you the random LOL at three forty five in the morning. You ain't said nothing. But what are you laughing at? She fell asleep. She, she thought about something you said two months ago. I'd be happy with that. I'm just waking up at 3.45. Well, what's up? What are we laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a meme? Yeah. Don't text I me. Need, I needed somebody to little text with right nah, quick. Don't, hey. don't text me LOL out the blue and I didn't say nothing. <laughs> no. Hell no. Because like now this? I'm just guessing like... uh. That's what a scary text. She, That's yeah, on the list she, of the scary texts. Yeah, did she see something? Like, LOL? A random LOL is equivalent to the we need to talk. Yeah. It's up there. Because you like, LOL, no, what are you worse than No, no, no. It's she needs to talk. Yeah, you're you, not going to be you, doing any need talking. To talk. yeah, no. Fam, you need, you my need days, to listen. You need to, no. LOL means you need to listen. Yeah. My days are talking to a girl's over. You want to listen? When it, yeah, when a chick got to talk to you? No. We're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're not listening either? Yeah, no, it's a trap. It is a trap. It is it's a trap. trap. Get out of here. Has any man ever made it out of the we need to talk? Nobody's ever had to talk to me. No. Nobody's ever had to talk to me about anything. A, a woman has never said we need to talk and then ended that with I kind of see where you're coming from. No, no, no. <laughs> it's never happened. <laughs> we need to talk is basically like nigga, I got some evidence that I would like to present to you, and I want to see how you're going to try to lie your way out of this one. Well, that's what should happen when you think you got some evidence. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She, she ever think you're going to lie your way out, and then you just come clean right away, and she almost looks like disappointed that she couldn't get her whole plan off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Stumped her. <laughs> you know what? We laughing and joking, but I did want to come in here. I, during the week while I was looking at, out the window at Bush's, I, I thought about just the different uh, the different ways that men and women go about a breakup and like the aftermath of it. And I think the way girls do it is super corny. Like girls literally try to erase the memory of the dude out of their system and never speak to you again for the rest of life. The dudes be like, strategy. yeah, he was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, yeah, no, we, we used to laugh together. <laughs> we can still do I that. Think, I think it depends on what the breakup was over. Like, Fam, I've spoken to women who just say, no, the second is over, it is over. We're not talking, there's nothing to discuss. It's over, yeah, moving I've on. Yeah, I've been there That's too. That's gangster. I'm with that. I've That's been there stupid. Too. I'm with that. I Whoa. think that's the only because there's no real way to really get over. Like you just gotta get, get over it, get moving. Like get over it is to never speak to somebody again. I wouldn't say never, but you gotta move forward. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're not getting over shit if the last thing you say to someone is "fuck you." I never want to speak to you again. Like that shit is festering with you for the rest of your life. For the uh, most part. rest of my life, I don't know about that. Niggas need therapy, man. <laughs> every, 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 y'all sitting there talking about shit festering for life. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. that's not gonna fester with me for life. I'll be, I'll think about it for a while, but life, no, hell no. Maybe not directly, but that next dude gonna catch some rat that was really meant for you. Yeah, I've been it'll that, fester. I've been that guy. Chicks yeah. like to fester. I've been yeah, but guy. you don't care about him. By, by the time you know, chick is crazy, and the next dude get it. You're like, have fun, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Word. I know what time it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. she's cute, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's cute. <laughs> yeah. Nice body, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Mm -hmm. I, know. I remember when she used to put in a bun in the yeah. summer. I know. Yeah. I liked it too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was my favorite sundress. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You hit me back in about six months. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just tearing your fucking ear yeah. off in there. Hey, <laughs> password to your phone better not be a birthday, dog. Just For trying real. to tell you that now. For real. Oh, y'all are stupid. All right, where we at? Where we at? What else? What else is happening? Interesting in the universe. Uh, oh, Khaled. Khaled. Music. Let's stay on music. Let's stay oh, on music. Ma wait. I know. I saw a lot of a lot of Big Sean in Khaled pictures. Mm. Does he respond on the Khaled record? Mm. Fam, if that's the case, 
<laughs> and they would, better man. fold up a little grass skirt. <laughs> <laughs> just lay it. Lace, lace up her sandals. <laughs> yeah. She, 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 Tighten up the Birkenstocks. If if if, if Sean got to a Khaled studio with some hard ass beat. And Khaled just talked for a little bit and began it. I don't! <laughs> <laughs> you thought we wouldn't respond! <laughs> <laughs> He's doing just fine! <laughs> now the last time I heard from you... Oh, when Sean come in? Now the last time? <laughs> Bieber, Bieber's on the hook. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't throw Bieber on the hook. It's Bieber's coming it's on over. the hook. Y'all niggas putting together the best... I'm telling you. <laughs> the best breakup diss record ever. Don't let Chance get on the third verse. Because... Because girls, the the Janae this girls gonna always give you the very vague, hey, he hurt me, he fucked it up. Mm-hmm. When a nigga start getting into specifics of what happened, uh, hey, the last time I seen you, you was oh, oh, <laughs> I knew shit wasn't sweet over there. Yeah, but I that's knew she another, wasn't innocent. Yeah, that's another handicap Sean has to deal with. Janae is one of the earthy chicks, and earthy chicks don't need evidence or facts. They just need feelings. Like they just need vibes. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So you or can't really you can't really beat the vibes. Like what or, are you supposed or, to say? Or their or their palm reader told them. <laughs> yeah, tarot, oh my tarot, God. tarot card. Once yeah, a tarot like- card lady don't like you. <laughs> yeah. you can, your, relationship, your relationship is over, buddy. <laughs> you you laughing? That has happened to me. <laughs> I know it. Once a tarot card lady tells you tells her you ain't no good, you're fucked. Listen. You can forget about it. <laughs> One of these times, there's been a few times in my life where a chick was telling me that story and in my head. I'm like, you know, I'm coming to meet this tarot. Yeah. <laughs> like, Why well, she know all this shit about so me? much faith in this tarot yeah. person. She's yeah. talking all this shit about me and never met me. Like, get the fuck out of here, yeah. man. <laughs> all the tarot people I, I went to see was bullshit. <laughs> all of that shit is bullshit. <laughs> that, Have y'all ever gone to see That lady that? works no, on a no, closet no. on Christopher Street. But I, I don't, don't I, see, but I don't believe that all of them are bullshit. I do believe that some of them have powers. I do. Nah, they just got some cards. Some of them just been doing it longer. <laughs> That's all. They know how to shuffle better. Yeah, we're, the fuck out of here. They got a better little tapestry in the back. Yeah, I see this in your future. I do too. I'm you living in New York. You damn right. I'm gonna run by a fucking bar and meet someone. Yeah, what are the odds? It's a bar in every corner, man. Do you guys remember when Wyclef played a tarot card reader in Carmen with Beyonce? Oh my god I missed that scene I remember that I remember it Yo why that's you, one of the funny Why does your brain Retain this information I'm part of the beehive dog. Oh my god That is well, You should not remember that That is ridiculous That what you remember that What are you talking about the, no, uh, I re- Don't tell me I remember Oh the MTV movie Yeah, yeah I'm just mocking him Okay <laughs> You don't think Wyclef killed that role No What were we talking about Before Wyclef Tarot cards In, in his role DJ, oh, well, all right, DJ Khaled Before tarot oh. cards Alright Khaled Yes Khaled before tarot cards <laughs> <laughs> Yes Khaled Khaled has an album Coming out Supposed to be May 25th Yes I believe so Say Vaughn Sure <laughs> <laughs> Yeah guys Yeah fuck it May Let's 5th. go with the 25th Parks 25th. I wish you just Start oh, looking shit up So well, we can never see Savon again <laughs> I'm gonna learn Savon a good lesson Once Parks Start looking shit up Oh buddy <laughs> <laughs> I usually do But yeah. my phone is May dead May 25th Once I start getting May My 20. own Jameson <laughs> <laughs> May 25th May 25th. And no single. Hmm. And people, and I didn't even think about that until I saw people saying it. But okay, why is this a big thing? Because Khaled, Khaled was, normally drops a single. Usually a couple. A couple singles. Yeah. About three before. And it's normally out. like star studded, all of them. Yeah. Future. Actually, it's next week, May 17th. Oh, you moved it. Oh, it pushed up. May 17th. Pushed up. Savon pushed yeah, up. Yeah, I would be scared. Savon pushed up the album? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> 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 Save all the nice. Next yeah, week, we coming. gotta come soon. Nah, I just changed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fuck epic. Why? 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 Why are people in an uproar because they haven't heard a single yet? Do you think that will help him or hinder him? Do you think it matters at all? Uh, why do you think he changed his strategy? I don't know. Well, let's, 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 let's delve uh, in here. <clears throat> maybe he feels he has more of an album album because it's tough to like put together a real album when you have. 35 features Well A a bunch of different You think it's gonna be Like his most personal album To date (laughs) I think he's really Gonna get introspective On this one His most personal (laughs) I hate when they say that too (laughs) They always say that Thanks guys Holds no punches On this one (laughs) He went even more Personal on this one (laughs) Put his social security Number as the title (laughs) I just hope it's not a future record on there, but like the same type of. You know that's coming. That's oh, absolutely coming. That's a hundred percent. Tired coming. of hearing that type of record, man. I hate those type of records. Well, sometimes they be slaps though. <sighs> yeah, yeah but I, I mean, mean it's I was the trying same to cut record, off the roof though. of the Maybach. 
<laughs> but it's the same record over and over. Like, oh, I was yeah. trying to do that shit to my shit too. Uh, uh, Rory, Rory had the keys, the keys, the keys. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was so shocked at that hook when it came out when we heard the title. <laughs> he was so well, shocked. I was it. like, whoa, they, they really went the other way. Right. <laughs> they surprised us. <laughs> Didn't think they'd find this pocket. <laughs> the keys, the keys, the keys. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Damn, I just had a great question before we started laughing at this key. Oh, the future shit. Yeah, you know a future record's gonna be on it. Absolutely. And it's the same sounding record. I don't is want be that on same there. sound. I don't mind a future they're record. Making, on there. They're making music like like science. Like, yeah. And it's supposed to be artsy. No, they're making music based off of algorithms. Yeah, like they're trying to follow what they did the last time and do it again. But it's like you music should be made off of the moment, the the the, the emotions, the, what what you feeling like. I don't want to hear the same shit. Like, don't don't give don't try to give me a club record. Make a good record and make make them play it. Oh, Khaled's gonna give you a club record. But yeah, but but I don't want it to sound a club like the clubby clubby record. Clubby, it's clubby not clubby clubs record. anymore. <clears throat> well, oh, out here, it's a time. out here in Miami, it's regional. Clubs. There's no <laughs> clubs in New York. No, well, I'm just when I say club, I mean just that party. He was just that up and down. <laughs> like to me, just make a good record. People will play it no matter where they are. If it's a good record, it's good. like that Janae record. That's a great record. I, I, DJs will play that in the club. That, yeah, that'll go off in parties like yeah. a nice little maybe 10 seconds of it. it's a good record. Chicks and then switch to Meg The Stallion. Right. Really get the women going. <laughs> right off of that. Coming off of that, Meg The Stallion. <laughs> yeah. Triggered into Big Old Freak. Don't try to steal my shit again, Verified. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I'm over here. Ooh. I think Meg The Stallion no. is dropping soon, too. Say it again? I think Meg The Stallion She's is dropping, dropping the soon. same day as Khaled oh. on Friday. Wow. Oh, Khaled's in trouble. Remember when niggas used to drop on the same day? Oh, he in trouble. That shit, don't even, that, that shit don't even matter anymore. Like, yeah, shit, if it don't, I think it do. Who? I, I mean, certain artists. If certain artists drop the day you are, then you shouldn't put an album out. Like, you shouldn't put an album out when Rihanna's putting one out. You shouldn't put an album out when Drake's putting an album out. Like, certain artists, Kanye. You stay away from those artists, but... Khaled's probably on that list, though. I asked y'all mm-hmm. mad questions about Khaled, and we just breezed over all of them. Why do y'all think he changed his strategy? Let's talk about this no singles thing. I think he's probably going to release some post posthumous after the album. I know, but, but why did he change it? Uh, str- a strategy to, that seemingly worked is I why, think that, why I'm asking. Go ahead. I th- me personally, I probably think he didn't. He don't have a record that he feel like is a strong single yet. Nah, no, that's way. Nah, no that's way. my thought. chance. Or or just couldn't pick one. Not a fat chance. Not a chance. <laughs> no. I think so. I don't think. I, think so. I, I, think, I don't think he wanted to go with the same. I like the album sound. drop first, then the singles roll out. Even though, like for a while, that was happening, and then people got away from it again. But mm-hmm. I think that in the digital age, it's better because it makes for more longevity. Because when you ha- drop all the singles and then you drop the album, it's kind of over. You know I what I'm saying? I think you should drop the record and, and let and you can, pick the singles. Back to it being a science, you can literally see which record is working That's the best. Yeah. <laughs> like to the T. Yeah. Like, all right, well, I guess we'll go with this one. Yeah. Because it has a star next to it. Yeah. The Bieber one? Yes. <laughs> That's going to go. You know, <laughs> the Bieber one, Bieber <laughs> yeah. Big Sean. You, you know the Bieber Quavo Chance record is on there. Yeah. I don't want to hear no fucking Bieber Quavo Chance. I, I hope that he has some uh, uh, collaborations that wouldn't be expected. I mean, he, he, he normally tries does. to yeah, he usually does. He yeah. normally does. Khaled does a good job, man. I, I got to give it to him. You got to. <laughs> uh, he, he covers all shit, too. Like, I hate the fake hip-hop heads that shit on Khaled. Like, he gave us a Nas and Scarface record. Bro, Khaled <laughs> paid his dues, too. Like, he's a DJ for real, for real. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you can't, you can't shit on There's Khaled always some no shit level. for the quote-unquote hip-hop heads on a Khaled album. Yeah. Maybe this is a Sylvia Roan idea. Maybe okay. that's the change. Maybe. I know, yeah. I never thought about that. Cause Maybe. she, she's she's new over there. I was about to ask y'all if uh, the performance of Khaled's album uh, would be an indictment on her if something happened differently, if it didn't do what it normally does. Mm-hmm. What does a Khaled am- album normally do? Well, does it? <laughs> yeah, it usually does well. Well, based off the singles in this era. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your man. He's texting. <laughs> <laughs> Look. 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 He is looking it up. I didn't say nothing, bro. <laughs> I didn't say a, I didn't say a word. Time, man. Totality, totality. Them shit's to- platinum. Them shit, they go platinum. Because the singles, the singles count as in this era. Yeah, yeah. Like all his shits are platinum because all his singles are platinum. But but that is a little risky uh, with the streaming because he's going in at zero. Had he put a single out, those streams would count towards the album that's true so he's going in at zero yeah, his first week might suffer as a result of not putting well not might it will mm. as a result of not putting a single out but 
Oh, man, it's something different, man. I mean, he puts out an album every single year with the exact same formula. It works, but he might be getting bored with the shit. And yeah. and it's good. I mean, that's good to switch it up. It's good to to do things differently and you know give people a different a different mm. angle, a different look. It just it adds to you know okay that this right. Let us pick the single, like you said. We yeah. you can see the ones that we gravitate towards. Actually, um, only his last I, two I also, albums uh, went gold and platinum. Believe it or not. I also have a, a, yeah. a theory on maybe why there's no single. If you saw the pictures, you saw a lot of Sean, but you saw a lot of Nipsey too, and they were clearly on a video set. Mm. So if he was leading with the Nipsey record, I can see him pulling back because of everything. Yeah. Oh, that, wait, could I, look, that could look a little... Yeah. I think I did see Letty or somebody say uh, that they heard the Nipsey or they saw the Nipsey Khaled video. There was somebody else in another feature. Mm. Uh, and John Legend? We would all cry together when we. Oh, it's John it. Legend and Something Nipsey. Like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Oh, I'm, 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 crying. I'm already crying. <laughs> John Legend and Nipsey. Yeah, it's it's over. Yeah. Something about John voice, man. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to cry to John in the house, looking <laughs> out the John. window yeah, at the I bush. Yeah, cry to John Legend. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> all. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you cry to? Who? Yeah, Fam. come on. Yeah. Are you not an ordinary person? I'm, That's what I'm, I'm about to say. I, 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 I like John Legend, but I'm not as big on him as other people are. That's just me. I like. I think. Well, you good, told us that artist. a few episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not crying to John Legend. No. You're not gonna cry to John and Nip. Uh, well, that's different. It's a different emotion there. Do y'all think John and Nip and Khaled can beat out the uh, the Wiz Fast and Furious? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Wow. Why is that? You don't like yeah, that record? That was I rough. love that record. No, that was rough. That was a record. Yeah. That was rough in the theater looking at that scene. Though. Yeah. That was a record though. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> they killed that. They still put that shit in. It's commercials. Wasn't that kind of TV a, shows. I don't want to say that's that. why Wiz is not trying to make music really yeah, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, he put out a tape. I uh, know, y'all. See, he keep giving y'all little tapes. Hey, yeah, <laughs> shut up, nigga. Yeah, yeah, like, like <laughs> I'm all the way. See my royalty check yeah. on this shit. I'm cool. Yeah, you'll never hear nothing trying to take off from the tape, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just a bunch of tapes. Yeah, Where? I'm cool. Fair. Yeah, they smoked that record and how they put it to the movie. Yeah, yeah that was peace. crazy. Rest in peace, Paul Walker. They did that. But they recorded that prior. That wasn't for Paul Walker, right? Didn't that end up just know. timing that way? I think I it was timed. I don't think it was. I think obviously the, when it came out, it was a different feeling to it, and then they, where they placed it in the movie. But yeah, no, no. Paul Walker died on while they were filming, and I think if I heard this story because I, I did, mm-hmm. uh, they approached somebody else for the song. The song came after the death. Okay, the song came after the death. Gotcha. The creation of it, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm well, that was a little, and not just I love Wiz, nothing against Wiz. I don't know if I would have ran to Wiz for that. That was whoever had that idea that worked. It I'm worked. not. Don't quote me, but I think somebody else might have turned it down, and then Wiz picked it up. I don't. I don't remember because I don't remember uh, who told either me way, the story. They, they smoked that shit. Yeah, word. Shout out to Wiz and shout out to him never having to rap again because of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to Nipsey and Khaled and John yeah, Legend me too, man. and everything else that's supposed to be happening on Khaled's album. Uh, any more music shit? Uh, well, Meg, Meg, Meg coming out. I like how quick they they turn that over. Yeah, that's a smart team that's not letting that shit just sit. Really? <laughs> nah. She's at peak popularity right now. Yeah. Well, not let, let me not say peak. Yo, but did you, do y'all hear Rory? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, y'all. Come on. Help me out. Like She's at like, peak popularity. You like my alliteration? Is that what you're saying? Oh. <laughs> well, this is the are most you, popular. Are you, are you, are you impressed by the peas? <laughs> Rory is. Did I kill funny. the peas better than Saigon? I fucking hate when y'all don't jump people with me. Like y'all sit, <laughs> y'all let Rory sit here and say peak popularity. Come on, well, listen, man. Parks, I, Mall, well, we Pete, know, say somebody. We, well, this is this is a special day. I know, for I, know I know the strong uh, word. That's true. Yeah, he's, he's in his marketing. He's bag. in rollout mode. Yeah. I am in rollout mode. Yeah. So he was letting that retweet hammer fly this oh, morning. Had, listen, I wasn't mad at him. Had to. I was. I wasn't mad. So what was your role on the emotional orange zone? If you don't mind me asking, in a public forum. In a public uh, forum. It's a private forum, Parks. Pri- yeah. Private forum. <laughs> just us cover your own. In mics. Uh, I manage them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we can I knew that. Put, put that rumor to rest. <laughs> Shocker. I, I am not singing on the album. Oh, that is that wasn't me. you? No. I'm taking it off my iTunes. Is that you on the cover of the album? Yes, that is. That you is in you fact are me. the orange. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, <laughs> both of them. 
Both of them. I just <laughs> yeah. got you. It was a really, really rough day on set. Yeah. I, I can see that. <laughs> I can see it. A lot of work. A lot of emotions. But shout out to them. It's yeah, got, shout it's out got, to them. It's got a great artists. response. Shout I didn't listen, listen, listen to it yet. I'm going to listen to it this weekend, though. You would like it. Yeah, I'm going to listen to it this weekend. Uh, y'all were telling me that Joyner and Rosenberg got into it. They had a spat. That just sounds weird already. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you not know this, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, you pay attention? I, I didn't know. I didn't know. You don't have your ear to the streets? Mm, well, that's no. what it is. Yeah, no. You gotta put your ear to the streets. You're not in tune with the pulse? I gotta stop looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Please. start looking at the street. Uh, so what, I'm assuming Joyner went up to Hot 97? He did an interview, and apparently uh, Rosenberg was on his phone the whole time. Okay. Can I ask a serious question? Sure. Why do artists still go to radio stations and do interviews? Because they want radio play. You don't need radio play anymore. Yeah, you kind of do. Oh. And YouTube, yeah. You need so you need YouTube play and radio play. Yeah, you need all the plays. Right. Listen, when you, listen when you a new when you a new act, uh, it probably doesn't behoove you to try to pick and choose who and what places you need. Um, so I'm not mad at him going up there, feeling like he might need their support in the future. Um, yeah, because I mean, radio still has that person that's nine to five every day. I drive to work in the morning. Yeah. I, I just hear whatever's popular. Like, right. That's still an audience. Yeah. So I, I can see. But nobody at that station is making decisions on what records are being played. Oh, of course not. Well, well that'd be the not. thing. Which you is did, why I don't understand. You're sitting there doing an interview with somebody that's not making the decisions on whether your record could be played or not. <laughs> right. D- d- which is why I don't understand why artists are still doing it. But like, whatever. Because if you're a new act. But tell me what happened between these two. Uh, well, I guess he went up there. They were having an interview. Peter kept going on his phone, allegedly. And that is um, rude. Very rude. I'm not, I'm not saying whether that happened or not, but if somebody's on their phone for an entire interview and, and I'm up here, yeah, fam, like, fam, look look me in the eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, I guess it was a little while ago. I don't think this happened, like, this week. Uh, and then Rosenberg made a comment about his recent video. Uh, the name is escaping me. I apologize. Devil's something. Devil's work. Devil's work. Uh, and I think that triggered Joyner off. Well, what was the comment that he said about... Uh, I didn't hear it, but I, I don't. I don't think it was in favor. But don't quote me. Got it. Um, so then Joyner went on Twitter, uh, and basically said, "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> he said, "I woke up early as fuck to go to your station and give a solid interview as you sit and text more than a handful of times right in my face, Rosenberg. How you mad at me because I felt disrespected at the lack of respect you showed me? Treating artists like we need <coughs> you in 2019. Yeah, treating, treating that treating what? artists like we need you." Mm-hmm. And, and you're on his show on radio station. That's why, I'm, and that's why I'm confused because don't say you don't need him, but then and you're then there. Be but on there. his show. Yeah, hmm. that's kind of what I got there. <laughs> yeah, and because uh, Joiner's independent now, and he's been very vocal about that. And I'm glad he is. Oh wait, I thought well, he was signed to somebody. No, nah, he got off. Oh, he got really? off Atlantic. Um, so you're pretty much fast. Wait, yeah, we're what? You dropped one mixtape like, and got. Well, that's not just fucking. Uh, speed by that one. Didn't he yeah. just get signed to Atlantic like recently? He put out a tape I could have sworn he tweeted out, "Yo, I'm independent. Thank God." So yeah, th- this album will be independent. That means this press run was independent, meaning it's kind of on you if you want to uh, be there okay. or not. <laughs> yeah, and he should do it as an independent artist. I agree. Like you should probably do. You should still go up to Hot. You should yeah. Still go up to all them shits. Yeah, if Hot's gonna give you the time, do Hot. Okay, so he didn't punch Rosenberg in the face. <laughs> no, apparently no, he didn't. Uh, but Rosenberg said. I was just doing it to see when your album came out and he was like, fuck that, leak the footage. You guys just edit it on me anytime you went on your phone. Just show me the footage. You were on your phone all the time. Hmm. Well, That's I mean, rude. That's not so unbelievable. I can totally see him doing that. Yeah. But it's still rude. Uh, I th- well, I think it's... If it is true. Yo, it's a little why nigga, why been niggas so, so emotional? Who? We, we've had this conversation a million times. Artists are emotional. Like, who gives a fuck if Rosenberg was on his phone, bro? Like, who cares? Like, you don't know what he was doing on his phone? Like, it's, it's, it's his phone. Yeah, but it's his interview. It's two, as in the two other people sitting there? Yeah, but you're still... I ain't still so collected. come on with the dumb shit, man. Like, stop trying to... This is not... This is fake news. But my, my <laughs> only thing with Rosenberg and that would be... You, you tend to complain about the shittier rap and people not being pure and all that... Hip hop bullshit that that is spewed. Joiner embodies all the things that you love. Don't you think you'd be ready to talk to him because you say we don't have any real rappers anymore? 
Yeah, yeah, but my thing is, this is what you want to talk to. Says, uh, if he uh, says, uh, if he uh, says he's uh, on his phone because he's looking at, they, well, I don't he probably know, I don't know reading, what's true and what's not. He, I'm I, just saying, if he nor was, do I care. If he probably was reading other shit about Joiner that he didn't know, you know, which is why he's still on his phone. Like, who cares? Now like, you supposed to do that before I get there, homeboy. Yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It's called you, prep. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get man. the little one sheet. Get the little one sheet with all the facts about me, and then ask me when I get there. Don't, one sheet. On, man. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't pull so out your phone. So it says you're from Massachusetts here. Tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, see, Maul, because I've been on the flip side of that, and that interview is that interview can be really annoying when you're sitting in front of somebody who knows absolutely nothing about you, and they just looking up some shit real quick to just throw it at you. Yeah, Fam, but it's different. I'm, it's not, just, I'm not here for that. It's different. If Especially it was just early in the morning. You waking me up early in the yeah, morning. But, I'm out of town. I'm but not it's here different. For this. It's different if it was just Rosenberg there, but there's two other people there. So it's like, you know, Ebro can be talking, Laura can be talking. Like, I'm just looking some shit up. I'm on my phone. Like, all right. So enough deal. about Rosenberg and Joyner. Let's get to fucking Logic and Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Logic, Logic. versus Leonard. <laughs> There's a song. What the streets have been waiting for. Uh, another, nice, <laughs> another nice alliteration. <laughs> and it wasn't Rory this time. Listen, Charlemagne says Hello. he wants us to call him Leonard now. Wait, what's his last name? Kelvey. Leonard Kelvey? McKelvey. McKelvey. Wait, so is this when he did the pull-up? Yeah. Is that what he said? Fucking Charlemagne. Duh. Wait, Leonard McKelvey, formerly known as Charlemagne <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh man, he's the artist formerly known as Charlemagne. And who the fuck would want to go from Charlemagne the God to Leonard McKelvey? <laughs> <laughs> he saw he saw the, the rebrand with Bow Wow to Shad Moss and thought, you know what, maybe this is my lane too. Mm, yeah, that, that's see what's going on, Leonard. But anyway, <laughs> somehow you got in a beef with Logic. <laughs> and I was kind of happy about it. I was like, shit, all the shit I done talked about. I was going to say, did you feel a little left out? No, I was happy. <laughs> I get happy when the rappers like skip me. Like I don't want that. I don't want the smoke. I'm cool. You got it. I just want a pod. <laughs> I just uh, want a pod. Yeah, but I was uh I was happy the smoke wasn't toward me. Where did the beef uh stem from? Well, Ooh. I can read the quote. I'm not sure where it started from, but okay. I, I think he maybe spoke to it here. I don't do the Breakfast Club because Charlemagne is shameless. That's the only one I leave out when I run my basis. Do your research before you call someone homophobic. You make a living off controversy, and you know it. I ain't that type of artist. Respect my name, and we can talk about it. I'd suck a dick just to prove it ain't that way. Huh. Oh, I see what he did. Uh, you saw the, the, the homophobic see, yeah. entendre? Oh, uh, that was kind of Yo, slick Ma, tell, logic. Ma, tell us how you felt about that last line. No, that was a little <laughs> slick. He's playing off of uh, Charlemagne saying if Homeboy went to jail that, you know, he would suck his dick or whatever. Pause. Mm. Yeah, but, no, I got the line. But I when did he go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did. oh, it didn't go over yet? No, it didn't go over my head. Uh, I'm not sure when Charlemagne called Logic homophobic. <laughs> he doesn't really look like a homophobic guy to me. But Charlemagne replied and he said he don't really know what the fuck Logic's talking about either. Uh, it's clickbait. And I don't. And, and, maybe, and Maybe that's the triple, quadruple entendre. Mm. This is just clickbait. And they, the Breakfast Club is not the only place that Logic skips. He, he does the Breakfast Club. <laughs> well, that's what... Sh that's what uh, <laughs> I've what seen is, him on it. What does he want? Leonard? Yes, Len Leonard. Leonard McKelvey. That's what Leonard once... He was said in his response. He was like, you don't even fuck with hip-hop like that. You just use it to get hot, and then you go on all these white public public forums, and that's where you do your interviews at. It's not like you just don't only don't come here. Mm. 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 Look at Leonard when he gets in his Leonard bag. <laughs> I <laughs> agree. I thought you would. I said that a few weeks ago. <laughs> I thought you, I thought you would. <laughs> no, but he's Joe's. He's, he's been feeling like that about. Yeah. Uh, I said that here. Logic. I said that a few times here. I feel like mm -hmm. Logic goes to the whitewashed audiences to promote his shit. I ain't, I ain't seen him with nobody black. Well, that's what not to that's say what, uh, he not to say he wouldn't sit with somebody mm -hmm. black. I'm I'm not making that that uh, accusation. I mean, I haven't really paid attention to the Logic press runs to, to really make an, an assumption here. <laughs> or, I have seen him on albums. The Breakfast Club, but though, that's no? but that's me neither, and that's how I know that what I'm saying is right because Logic just put a project out, and the only time I see him is 
uh, when I went to get my nails done and whatever channel that the agents had the TV on, he was there with some white people. When I went to get breakfast at 7 in the morning, whatever good day channel, 3, 4, whatever Miss Jefferson was watching in there, he was in there with the white people. All of these, he was at HuffPost. All of these platforms. Yeah. All of these Post. platforms. And, and, and let me not do that to HuffPost because they fuck with niggas. But uh, all of these platforms uh, and mediums and news outlets that everybody just can't get to mm. everybody everybody isn't privy to to get a news run still i'm fucking 18 years in uh and i ain't sat on a late night couch but maybe tom green or somebody <laughs> well that was a good show and i like tom green but i Me mean too. it was short-lived yeah what happened to tom green <laughs> Well, the Tom, I don't know, but the Tom Green show. Jackass. Well, was definitely short lived. Yeah, yeah. It's just one season. Right after Pump It Up went off, it went off. <laughs> you kept the lights on over at the Tom Green show? That, that was the rollout that Wait, they did gave you perform me. too? Uh, yeah, I think I did. I See, but this is, import, this is important stuff. We're joking around here, but at 21 years old, as a new act on the label, I got the bullshit rollout. And new artists, new artists, you, you don't know when you're getting the bullshit rollout until you get it and go through it a few times. <laughs> and you'll wait. And then you're like, wait a second. I think this was bullshit. <laughs> hey, what's the audience that this show has? Huh? Wait, wait, how come I'm not TRL waving out the window? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, when the internet really took off and the publicist started coming to the artists with how many um, impressions certain places got for you to do the interviews, like, fam, I don't care. <laughs> okay, 100,000 impressions. Have have fun. Have fun. Leave me alone. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Logic, Logic and this dude. Yeah, Logic is beefing with Leonard. Uh, I didn't hear the song. I'm not listening to the song. I don't listen to Logic. No well offense. Set. Yeah. Well <laughs> you don't listen uh, to Logic? No. No. But that's part of what Charlemagne was saying. That was a slick little line, though. He could rap well. Homophobic line. That was a slick little what he he did with it. He could rap well. Yeah, he could rap really well. But, I mean, Charlemagne was saying some... Oh, he he did actually throw another little jab. I I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, After that, 99% don't listen to what I say. Quote that line, but leave out all the mental health. (laughs) (laughs) Another Charlemagne bar. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody did say Charlemagne learned the word anxiety and ain't never looked back. <laughs> it was, it was hey, like that man Charlemagne will milk this damn anxiety. That, that, was like, that was like the time Lauren Hill taught all the chicks the word reciprocity. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant miseducation. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. Oh, she meant miseducation. You thought Lauren introduced that word to the, to the women? She did in Jersey City. That's funny as fuck. Bitch was like, yeah, you miseducated me. <laughs> no, I didn't. I miseducated me. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't teach you anything. I don't think yo, they you, used that word. Yo, right you miseducated me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, lady. You lady. Mis- <laughs> you, mis- you miseducated me. Oh, go ahead, Logic, with the. Don't do that, though, Logic. Is this the battle? Wait, Logic can't do that That's to Charlemagne, and he put out a whole suicide hotline <laughs> single. You had ten thousand kids no, but wearing that number what he on trying a T-shirt. He's trying to say you you jocking my my lane. Mm. I'm the mental health. Man, you jocking I'm the, my lane. You right. <laughs> I'm the, <laughs> the fuck is going on? I'm the on? mental health advocate. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody got to start giving me some damn credit around here. God damn it! What? I was sick in the head in the old one. <laughs> you still sick in the head. All right, never mind. Back 19. to Logic. Back to Logic. <laughs> I'm all bad, man. In 019. You still in <laughs> 0- 019? Yeah, I thought I was pretty good in the head now. You all right. You made some uh, improvement. <laughs> Slight, but some improvement. All right, Teslas. Fuck, <laughs> 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 done with y'all. Uh, so has that, is anybody going to listen to this Logic song? I listen to it. Uh, no. Me neither. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm, it's a no for me. It's not going to be added to your, your playlist nah, from cool. your entertainment system? Yeah. I'm cool. And I like Can Logic. I throw on the Logic to set the mood? I like older logic. I like logic. Oh, you're one of those guys. You're one of those? Yeah. <laughs> like before, I like to, I before it became was, mainstream. I like, was <laughs> I like mixtape yeah. logic. Yeah, I do. I love mixtape oh, logic. This, this new logic is kind of like... Um, Back when this, he, before he cleared samples. Before, before he let me just let you know that logic is not the art, one of the artists that are in the new and old boat. <laughs> well, shit. At first, I no, first heard logic. No, it's still just him. 
<laughs> no, but I first heard Logic back in 2011, 12, maybe. So mm. now I'm talking about back then. Yeah. That's when I was fucking with you. This nigga was mad great music out back then. Yeah, but that's when I was fucking with you. It was a great year. I'm born. I'm always with you. Why are you yeah, listening to that? But I, I, I was one of the first niggas Maul, to tell you about Logic. At the pool party? Maul was sneaking yeah. off at, in the crib to go listen, listen to Logic. Yeah. Maul had his headphones on in the crib. Like, yo, it's raining again out here. Yeah. <laughs> it was, Guess I'll throw in this Logic. It will not stop raining on a Friday. <laughs> Crazy, bro. <laughs> Every Friday. All right. Oh, never about logic. You don't give a fuck about logic. Uh, uh, are you not going to address your, your Leonard beef? There's a beef to be addressed. Yeah, there. what uh, happened? We're just going to slide over that one? Oh, what I do mm. now? That's, that schoolboy Q conversation looked mighty pull-up-y. Mm. What looked pull-up-y about it? Two people talking. Erickson. <laughs> Erickson, yeah, Erickson, Erickson. Erickson shot the whole thing. <laughs> Cash app. <laughs> Yo, I am I am loving from behind the scenes watching you, Elliot, and Charlemagne battle to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> that so, shit is. <laughs> you know what? Why that's funny? Well, there's so many conversations taking place. <laughs> Everyone is communicating. Everybody. I can talk to him better than you can. <laughs> yeah, like, niggas, niggas just trying to out talk each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Charlemagne went upstairs at night. You be in the crib. He was on a rooftop. He getting you all the way the fuck out of here. The funny shit. I was supposed to do that schoolboy shit. Mm. Lost in the crash talk. <laughs> the crash talk. <laughs> crash talk. Wait, is that the name of his album? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I thought Charlemagne did a good job. He did. It was I, didn't good to, I didn't watch. I just saw the thumbnail. And no, he talk, well, me neither, but I'm sure he did a good job. No, he did. It was a good <laughs> interview. See the shit? Just you thought he talked to him really well? <laughs> <laughs> but really his arrangement was his fantastic. Y'all, y'all not seeing it. It's big. It's booming business and just talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is stupid, bro. I don't you you love the way he shit. asked what producers me, were on this album? Me. <laughs> See, I don't serve him that. I don't give him that one. <laughs> no, he did a pretty good job, man. He did a good. It was a good interview. It was. It was worth watching. Oh, see now you got smoke coming from Maul's head. Chill, chill, Maul. <laughs> Maul hasn't said anything. I'm, I'm chilling. Sitting here looking like a matchstick. I'm chilling, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling. Uh, what else do we have? I'm a, I got. I you got. got this, you got something cooking though. I got this stream. Qu- no, mm. I don't have anything cooking. Yeah, really. Absol on the back burner. <laughs> <laughs> on the I'll, back. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> It do be funny when you sit at home trying to figure out who to talk to. <laughs> yeah, buddy, me and Young Berg next week. <laughs> all right, never mind. Uh, all right, what else is important? I wanted to ask y'all. Joe start retweeting his old shit. <laughs> oh, you see the Tiana one though. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm I'm not, still, I like was, the old Joe interviews better than the new too, ones, yeah. man. I'm, listen, you know they're getting their white boy bag. I'm shutting up, man. <laughs> I'm trying to segue for 10 minutes. Come on. What are we doing? What else, what else no, you got? No, go what else you got segue, for us? Uh, now you don't want to be in a white boy bag. I don't know what's going on in your life right now, <laughs> but don't ever do that again, man. Uh, no, I had this question I wanted to ask y'all about music streams, but that seems like a Wednesday thing. So, it does. about it. I think I figured it out while I was looking out the window at bushes. You discovered you discovered streaming. Yep. Figured it all out. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to hear. I'm telling y'all, I think I figured it out. What you got for us? You want to do it now? Yeah, let's do it. It's a Friday. Let's talk about streams. No, it's fucking <laughs> Saturday. Let's talk about some bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, let's get the bullshit out of the way first, at least. Uh, what other bullshit is there? Let's see. Rodman went yoga shopping. Huh? Nat- him, naturally. Him, him and his friends went to yoga. <laughs> Not shopping. Robin was in the crib, seeing he was running out of some yoga shit. <laughs> Decided to go steal some. Ran over to Lulu. <laughs> or Lulu Wait, he, was, he was shoplifting the yoga? The people he was with were stealing shit. Damn. Yeah, he brought he the goons. Kinda, he <laughs> she was stealing it behind his, like, Yo, he so was we're going to go in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> he brought the he camera was boxing out. Yeah, he, exactly. That's he was, exactly what he was doing. He was standing there trying to block the view of the camera. <laughs> Like we can still see the lady behind Robin's you. Robin's still gonna rob it. <laughs> we can see the lady behind you putting There's the stuff five in the pocket. other cameras in here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and who's gonna tell Robin to not steal in their store? Nobody. Me. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Yo, right. Daddy. Nigga would have snapped your neck. 
<laughs> no, I wouldn't have been close to him when I told him. Oh, you'd have told him from the eye. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been in the store. Put that Get down. out of there. <laughs> Get out of there. Hey, why are you in my store? <laughs> why are you in my store and I'm not in my store? <laughs> <laughs> we, we closed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the- Rod, man. <laughs> Come on, let's let's talk about Drake's new jet. Well, Maul's been on it. <laughs> How is it, Maul? <laughs> Maul built it. <laughs> Maul, why, why you I'm, build that nigga jet? You ain't build us I'm a jet. Sitting here with you guys, <laughs> why are we still business. flying United? <laughs> I'm sitting here minding my business with you guys, and I built the jet. Okay. Did you see the jet? I saw the video Drake posted. Yeah, I did. What you thought? Oh, you heard him. Give us an analysis. No, uh, no rental, no looks, time looks shot. Great, man. Look like a fucking, <laughs> a fucking lounge. What do you say? He got hookah in there. Yeah, no rental, no time shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talk that shit. Let niggas know. Like, yeah, fam. Nah, it's just me. Whenever I want, take off and land. Yo, yeah, see, we laughing, Rory, because that was funny. Like, shut up, Drake. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fly shit to say. Fam, <laughs> that's what I'm. That's why I'm not laughing. I get it. How much I, the jet I, cost? I, I, yeah, I'm well, not we there. Had I don't know. I don't a know. jet and what he got. He didn't have a jet. He has two a, different things. He has a, oh, he got like the uh, full Air Force One, Airbus, yeah, Canadian Force One, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a nice jet. Yeah, it's not a jet. It's a nice it's Boeing. Fair. It's, it's like dis- an Emirates. It's disrespectful to call it like, a jet. It's like a 757. Oh yeah. shit, <laughs> maybe 767. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. Double decker joint. Go upstairs. It's a 777. I don't really know why someone needs a jet like that. Where <laughs> bring, you going? Bring, up, bring the whole squad. <laughs> Wherever he wants Who to. Who cares? One person. With whoever he wants. Whenever he got to go somewhere, he got his own plane. Now. That fuel bill must be insane. You ain't worried about that, though. Apple got that. Fair vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Apple Music got that. Don't you worry about that, Larry dog. Jackson going to cover that yeah, one? Yeah, don't you worry about that. <laughs> we don't even know what the fuel costs. Apple's... <laughs> See, that's why niggas don't niggas like me don't need no jet, man. I'll be flying. I, I, I will say this. From Brooklyn to Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gas her up. <laughs> 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 Gotta get bit my own. Yo, so. <laughs> flying from Brooklyn to Staten Island. <laughs> flying from Montclair to Bayonne is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Get a Crash slice. on the takeover. Like, yo, this, this is why you can't give dudes nothing. Look at look at this fool. <laughs> oh, there goes Joe again. <laughs> look at this idiot. For real, you got to respect the journey, man. What if what if you don't respect it? Now you got a jet. And now you just flying to like Delaware to see some mutt chick. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> you can't, can't pull a jet up no, to no, Delaware. No, no. no. Well, that's not true. Didn't Drake say he was pulling up to the projects and, and Phantoms and shit? Yeah, but everyone's oh, done yeah. that. Ra-ha. That's, yeah, it's a I've never done it. Oh, well, you should. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really uh, safe thing. I was looking at that thing saying, damn, damn, Jay, that Puma plane's not looking as dope. <laughs> All right, calm down. Let's <laughs> not, not be too disrespectful here. <laughs> I'm all gonna fuck you up. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying they're all chasing what, what he already did. That's what I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm Rory joking. will never see another Rock Nation brunch in his life. Yeah. <laughs> You're joking on the Puma jet. I want to get, I want to be on the Puma jet. <laughs> Not now. Nah, it's over now. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, man. It's over. We don't make the rules. Oh, uh, what is this shit here? Uh, let's see. Robin went yoga shopping. Logic Lenard splits. What splits, Rory? Oh yeah, I. Uh, Saw this uh, maybe yesterday, two days ago. Someone posted uh, this app called Splits. This isn't really not an ad, even though it kind of sounds like it. Um, it was launched by Creative Music Group. Um, collaborators can generate and sign split agreements, the document that clarifies individual contributions to a track for publishers straight from their phones. So if y'all are all in the studio writing a record together, you can pull this app out and make sure everyone's splits are agreed upon and signed <laughs> on the app. Sounds like a fight in a studio to me, nah. but I thought it was kind of interesting. Just wait till somebody there, there be like, yo, there was a glitch. Yeah. Someone, someone, that. someone yeah. did that before, but I don't know if it was an app, though. There was like a site or some shit that you could do it, but... It definitely sounds like a fight in the studio. Yeah, it sounds like something that's never going to get done in the studio, still. I was about to say, I don't know if that split conversation is a studio conversation anyway. It's really not. Yeah, we mm. need to have that before we even get yeah, to Yeah, we need to studio. figure out the fucking harmonies. Well, right? I, I think it's... <laughs> <the splits. laughs> I think it's probably for the, the you do lesser it, artists you, if, doing the shit from the crib, not like signed artists. Uh, or like, ma- I don't think this is for major this artists. This is for the local. Yeah, this cats. is for you don't think Drake is breaking out splits no, I don't, on the no. jet, uh, no, on no, the jet no. studio. <laughs> yeah, no. I think this is for someone that is in a home studio with one producer, with one rapper, and yeah. 
one engineer. Yeah. Like just I don't. I think this is for everybody. I don't think the major recording artists know shit about splits. They don't. I think they be fighting about them. I think they get robbed and jerked. And I don't think they know the appropriate time to have the conversation, whether in the studio, well, this, post, or pre. This doesn't cut out being jerked with splits. This is just an easier way to get it done. Got it. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I'm moving on. Y'all tell me. When is the appropriate time to have a splits conversation with the, with your collaborators? When you've agreed that this song is making the album and it will be purchased. Yeah. Okay, so you do the song first. Yeah. yeah. Depending on who you're working with. I think that could, with, with someone that you've never worked with before, you may want to have that combo after the song is done. Because you can't have a splits conversation before you start a record. See, that's how lot, that's how could you have know what's being contributed if you haven't done the song? You know what I'm about to do in here? <laughs> no. Yes, you do. That little gap right there. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's 16. That's, right that's there. 16. <laughs> how much is that worth? <laughs> how, how much? Yeah, is but it? even on your records, even though you just rapped, you you produ- not physically produced, but you've produced your songs mm-hmm. as far as structure, where things go. That's adding to the splits. We're going to have a good stream conversation on Wednesday. I'm down. We are. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, so I mean, you have to have the conversation afterwards. And I think it's kind of a pointless conversation if it's going to sit on a hard drive. Yeah. That's why you typically have those once. All right, this I, is a record I'm going with. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I'm not fighting with my, my people's... I don't think no major, that's major artist, artist, <laughs> yeah. no major artist is going to use this. No, it's yeah. not for them. Yeah, no. But I think it's a good idea. It is a good idea. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I think it is. It'll help artists, the up and coming... Up and coming cats. A but, lot of artists just put shit out, but yeah. they because they know. Nothing I hope about that they're, within the the app. There's some sort of uh, good, decent legal advice that goes along with it. Because even though know, you can make the splits yourself, it doesn't necessarily mean you should make the splits yourself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might want your people to be negotiating your splits, not just arguing with your producer. I could be a manager studio. thing too. Yeah, managers in the studio or managers afterwards. All yeah, right, here's the record. How, what you felt like you did. Yeah. All right. I let's mean, because now this, more. in this era we're in now, it's so easy for a local cat to make a record, right, in the studio and the record blow up. You know, right. I think that I yeah. think this is for that. We hear a lot of times where people rip shit off YouTube, the song will blow up, yeah. and then the producer is yelling exactly. six months later, exactly. like, "Dog, can I get a dollar?" Yeah, <laughs> right. I think that's what I think that's what this is for. <laughs> Ultimately, I well, think I that's support what it. Helped. Yeah, I, yeah think, I think it's a great I idea. support it. I yeah. do think it's a good idea. Uh, I hope that I just hope that there's some educational shit along with just the platform itself, mm. so that people can learn about maybe what they should be getting, so they can make informed arguments and informed decisions when they're making splits. Because that's the other side of it is if you're in the studio arguing, and I'm, you know, nobody from nowhere, and Joe Budden is getting on my song. And he's telling me I should only be getting ten percent, and you're like, ah, fuck it, whatever. And then you sign a little split sheet. Now you're legally bound to that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hopefully, there's some information within the app that will steer people into making informed decisions on the split sheets that they're signing in the studio with people that they may or may not know. Okay. Well, all right. So let me ask you, gentlemen, this. Uh, I'll use Parks as as an example. Parks is a super popular artist. I am a uh, writer that's just starting out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I write a joint for Parks. What should my split be? Well, what's the, I, I just want to know what Parks' I wrote song whole, is about. I wrote the whole song. <laughs> <laughs> jeans. Like, give, give me the title. <laughs> jeans. Jeans. Okay. You wrote Jeans for Parks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Does this sample genuine in those jeans? No. Mm-hmm. It's it's symbolic. It's a play on what I'm wearing versus how I'm scientifically made up. Mm-hmm. Fonte already did that. Did he? Yeah, it's called Good Jeans. Oh, uh, all right, Good Jeans Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Fonte? So we got bu- yeah, we got bust Fonte down something. No, no, Fonte ain't getting shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fonte you ain't get a dime on Blue Jeans Two. <laughs> blue Jeans Two. Blue jeans too. <laughs> <laughs> what, what should I be asking for as a writer who's little known, but I have an opportunity to work with somebody who you know I see this as. I see this as a thing. I want I want to do it, but what is the right thing for me to do? But that's tough because that's where splits are so fucking confusing because right. more established writers come in off rip. This is my split no matter what. Right. And new writers get jerked. So I really can't answer that. Well, that's I wish why I could. I, oh, I mean, <laughs> great help. Realistically, <laughs> it should be half of the song. You know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> Shit, <all right. laughs> Well, it should be. I mean, if it's, you roll all... It ain't going to be that. If I roll all the lyrics and music or uh, melody... 
I should be getting half the song, and the producer should be getting half the song. But that's true. But y'all, y'all get on here and give such unrealistic. Well, shit of course, out. no. I, I, I was setting up for the the reality <laughs> of the situation. <laughs> I've uh, seen I've seen new writers get fifteen to twenty yeah. when they've written a whole record. Yeah. And don't let it Often. be a situation where it's a compilation or like a DJ Khaled type record where he's going to want a piece of it too. And yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, don't, get, don't let the producer make one suggestion. It's like, nah, I helped you write that whole shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, you, should, you should move a word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm cool. I'm cool and all that. Yeah. See, that's why I just write Split, my own shit. Splits are difficult, man. <laughs> write my own shit, go in them on, do it them on, fuck it. Because <laughs> those arguments, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, uh, Y'all want to talk about all of these, the, the recent shootings offset in Atlanta in the studio, even though he wasn't actually in the studio when it occurred. Uh, Young Thug in Florida, they're saying he was the target of a drive-by shooting, even though he wasn't necessarily there when it happened. Was that his tour bus, or was that? Uh, I don't know. I think it has something to do with the tour bus. They shot his bus. They shot he has bus really up. shitty luck with tour buses. Yeah. Yeah. But that's a move. That like I feel like I don't feel like that's just him. People be shooting up tour buses. That's true. They just target him, you think? Well, when you put your big fucking well, face they, on, they're on it and they're trying to find you. Well, yeah. Well, I guess we'll shoot at that. Yeah, we want to go with the all black tour van from now on. <laughs> Do y'all think it's understated how many rappers actually may have real rap beef? I mean not rap beef, but real beef. I don't think it's understated. I think it's a known thing. I think a majority of them do. I don't you think it's a known thing? Absolutely. I don't know. Yeah, it's a known thing. It's it's known exactly which rappers have real street uh, situations, real street issues. Like it's that's known. I don't think that's a, a secret at all. All right. Well, can they <clears throat> do like a monthly report <laughs> so, so so I can know who who has a real situation? I mean, see if this beef is in good standing. Yeah. <laughs> you you know though. You you can kind of you can kind of just look at it, look I, around. And I wouldn't thought Young Thug would be one of the people that his tour bus would still Shit. get shot. Party oh, bus. Damn, they should have the party bus. Ruin a party, fam. I'm just trying to have a drink on a bus. Word. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, shooting up a party bus is that's fucked up. Like, fam, it's just strippers in here and music and drugs, black lights, probably. Yeah, don't shoot this up. Maybe yeah. a lava lamp. I want everybody. I, I, I really hope no. everybody is, is <laughs> all right. Hoping that they were practicing safe sex. For the, for I remember when party bus was like a thing. Party bus to AC. Yeah, that shit died out quickly. <laughs> like once you ride that shit twice and realize there's no way to look cool holding a drink and falling at the same time. <laughs> the party bus back was always my favorite. The back of the party bus? No, like no, the, on, on the, the way, way back. back. The way, way back. back. That's a messy bus. <laughs> Everybody sleep. The party bus was ass once you looked around and saw it was nowhere to fuck. <laughs> There's places. Look at this places. There's a nook and a cranny somewhere. Yeah. Or just in the open. Yeah. In the back trying to get my lean on. Niggas just staring at me in the face. Fam, move. <laughs> get off the bus. My Party bag is right there. Them buses was herpy buses. For sure. Oh, 100%. For sure. Well, remember me and you would have got on that party bus in uh, Florida? Oh, this sounds... This sounds like an amazing story. Church, yeah. Oh, that well, we didn't. We was just. It was. It didn't. We didn't drive well, around. Well, they kicked us off. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, y'all couldn't be on the. Y'all could, uh, couldn't party. Nah, it was nah, nice. That was a nice party, but they kicked too. us off. Yeah, nah. Why'd they kick y'all off? Because yeah. they, they was on there. Yeah. <laughs> and the way me and Joe pulled up was super nasty. <laughs> Mad denim. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all dicks nah. out. <laughs> me and Joe. Me and Joe pulled up on the. Uh, you know, you can rent the mopeds. Right. Oh, oh God, man. <laughs> me and Joe pulled up on those. Denim head to toe. Yeah, he was like, yo, let's denim go see helmets. what they doing. I'm shooting a video over there, Trace. You know, I'm like, let's go. Him, but, me and Joe. But wait, ass I, that was my street. idea. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about that fucking it's video. Well, how did I know? About it? I didn't want to know. You knew somebody did. I didn't want to know. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh I no, got... I think you had saw Trey and Amik in front. Our hotel. Oh yeah, that's what happened. They yeah, fucking they tricked me. Yeah, they told you about it. <laughs> How'd they trick you? They, they, said, they, they said come to our video shoot. See, and did. that's why it's crazy when you a mixtape rapper and you out mingling. <laughs> like, 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 yo, come uh, through, fam. <laughs> and then yo, you got there. Yeah, yeah, so yo, yo, don't do that. Yo, nigga, me and Joe went over there. You ain't know what a video shoot was. Feds. Fam, we seen trains like three o'clock in the afternoon. Shit was cool, sunny in Miami. It's one of those. Hey, man, come too late if you're not doing anything. I don't think he we really expected there. us to come. Yeah, we got there too late. <laughs> but we got we, there way the too late. Yeah. We wasn't. We wasn't really doing shit. Me and Mo yeah. fired up the moped, <laughs> <laughs> the little scooter. That shit is trash. That was nasty wait, to pull up on that. But wait, we hopped on them scooters. 
and had to travel. It was like a 20, 25 yeah. minute scooter ride. It was like a 20 That's minute far. scooter ride. It was like 200 blocks yeah. with the wind blowing, blowing my hat to the ground. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm out. Trey said, let's go. We're going. <laughs> we pulled up nasty with them two ass but, mo- little ass mopeds. But the block, like, you Vest, know, vested up? You know how you can see shit? Nasty. <laughs> you know how you can see an event from like a few blocks away if it's like really popping? Mm. Mm. We saw the house and he was like, oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's park these right here. <laughs> we parked the mopeds by a tree. Get with a bush. <laughs> yeah, we parked them just by a tree, like 10 houses down. <laughs> was like, let's just gonna walk up to the house. Tightened up the truce. Oh my god, that was who nasty. walks up to a house in Miami? Me and Y'all Joe. Nasty. Me, me and Joe. I who mean, who walks me in Miami? Walk, walked right in. Hey, great time. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Hey, it's me, Joe. <laughs> Got there late. The girls were tired. Yeah, yeah, no, the girls already chose up. Yeah, yeah, I'm girls, walking around. Yeah, niggas that chose up already. Yeah. Niggas yeah. that dispersed to different parts of the house yeah. already. Me and so, Joe. So what you guys around. up to? Yeah, we looking. We looking for stragglers. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> we try to, to find the insecure ones. <laughs> so, what was your role in the video? <laughs> Yeah, we're nasty I'm by the right, pool, though. Uh, <laughs> what we about to do? <laughs> you was been there for 10 hours. Them chicks been there for 10 hours in the hot sun shooting. <laughs> Nigga, get away from me. Wait, so once we peeped the whole scene and we couldn't bag the insecure chicks, it was like nothing going on. Then you got to go back to the hotel on the moped. <laughs> we got to get back on the moped <laughs> with the disappointment. Oh, God. Yeah, but that's after we couldn't get in the bus. So it was like a whole big party going on. But then it was like, we just hopped on our scooters. Yeah, we'll, scooted away. Yeah, we'll, we'll, follow, we'll follow y'all. Scooted no, away. no. We, we, we scooted off. Yeah, we scooted off. Yeah, I went to watch television. <laughs> the fuck was we doing? That was the last time I've ever attempted to get two, on a party bus. Two beds, bus. One, one hotel room. And Trey ain't text us neither. He, he ain't miss us. Yeah, he's like, yo, we're we, we supposed to go out tonight. Never got that nah, text. Yeah, I'm cool, buddy. I'm definitely don't think that. nigga Trey probably like, did these niggas pull up on scooters? Like, the yeah. fuck? Yeah, 100%. Like, nah, definitely didn't cross his mind. I wonder where Joe and Maul are. <laughs> Just getting back to the hotel on them slow ass mopeds, <laughs> out of gas. Party in Miami. Partying in Miami will let you know who really want to party with you or not. That's true. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You get your feelings hurt. Going. Yeah, uh, sorry, the boat's too full, bro. Buoyancy. Sorry. Buoyancy. <laughs> <laughs> buoyancy. Buoyancy. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> We're over the buoyancy. <laughs> If you the nigga that's supposed to get on and you over the buoyancy, fuck up the buoyancy? Yo, come on, fam. It's, like, it's a 150 foot yacht. What yeah. buoyancy are you talking about? I'm the buoyancy. Nah, I, yeah, yeah, it's you. Get you. off. <laughs> Yo, you, yeah, you, you got to get off. Right, you and your friend. Yo, that's crazy, the buoyancy. <laughs> Yo, Rory, what's wrong with you, man? I don't know, man. It's been a long week. The buoyancy. He's been kicked off a couple boats. <laughs> yeah, he, he's been over the buoyancy. I want to go on a cruise so bad. A cruise? Why? Because I've never done it. Neither have I, and I still have no interest. Yeah. Chill out on a boat like, for a week. You're like trapped on that shit. No, you stop. Just stop at different They got hours. a bodega Yeah, I, I want to do the ones where, where you stop and you get off shit. and you spend an hour here on this island and you get back on and you you, no, you spend a day. You can even spend a day on some, one island and move and go to the next one okay. spend a day. Yeah. It's not that. It's not as bad. I mean, I've never been on one. People say it's not as bad. Well, they as you don't think. get in their little white boy bags. Start talking about island boats. <laughs> well, you yeah. know, the last time white boys got on the <laughs> ship, they didn't. Yeah, they went down. down. Payback. Yeah. <laughs> last time white boys had a party on the ship, it didn't go too good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they made a movie about it. Yeah, it yeah. didn't. It didn't go too that's, well. For that's some boats, man. Now that had uh, been fucked up. That that Titanic. Oh yeah, man, Jesus. Christ. That's sad. Yeah. Yeah. It was unfortunate. And avoidable. Now that, now that we know the history of they it. They could have just turned left. Not only that, they knew that it was dangerous. They shouldn't have went out. Yeah. Dude, Roy, Roy's an idiot. <laughs> Should have just turned left. Should have just turned left. Yeah. They couldn't see the iceberg, Rory. All right, so y'all don't, y'all don't care that all the rappers are getting shot at. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, I can't. I'm glad <laughs> everyone's rap, safe. Rap, for real. I've been getting shot up. at forever, man. Um. All right, Maul. <laughs> Great take there. <laughs> it's the truth. It's part of our culture. Content kings. Do we care about uh, Chris Darden backing off of the Eric Holder case? Uh, he was threatening to get shot, too. He's a rapper? He's citing death threats. No, he's not a rapper, but you know. Lawyer. Yeah. He was like, yo, fam. Nah, you ain't representing him. Like, okay. Something be off about that stuff. I'm telling you. About You what? didn't know that you would receive death threats when you picked up this case? Uh, I'm... While sure while he, while your daughter was on Instagram saying, "Hey, fuck him, justice must be served," <laughs> but like you didn't know this, Chris Darden. 
Yeah, I mean, some, I think some, he, there's more. There's more. Lawyers, th- lawyers have. I'm pretty sure lawyers have received death, death uh, threats. I'm I, sure. I think the one on the OJ case probably received. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> his I, first death threat. Yeah, but I think this one was probably again social media, and it just probably was just a barrage of like, fam, don't represent this dude, or you're gonna have problems. And he probably was like, you know what. Man, I'm cool. <laughs> when I used to get death threats when I was 17, I used to think that was the most pussy shit ever. Like, why were you getting death? How did you get 17? Like I had notes. Beef. I had beef at 17. Oh, okay. uh, death threats at 17? Yeah. Shit. See, not industry in the streets. Mm. But I'm just saying, a death threat, like, fam, I'm not scared until I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was your response to the letter. <laughs> he wrote it too In 17 you had to write cut, it back like, Cut out the magazine yeah, letters fam, I'm, <laughs> 17. I'm not scared until I'm dead Yeah but a death threat That just sounds like the most pussy shit in the world A death threat? Until you dealing with some niggas that'll do it Yeah And when you, yeah. Know, it, and when you know they'll make good you on You know that, the difference Yeah, yeah. You know, you know the niggas difference is, Niggas will carry out the threat <laughs> No they won't threat Yeah, they'll Word. just be death You're yeah, lucky you got death. the threat yeah. There won't be a heads up so now what's next for Chris Darden now? Oh, he'll uh, pick up another I'll case. I'm really looking forward to this. He'll get back he'll, to the lawyer. Write, he'll write a book. Yeah. Go on CNN. Write a book about the day I picked up that case and dropped it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Bestseller. Grand opening, grand closing. I think he knew that the dude, yeah, he's not yeah. going to be able to win this case. No, nah, he picked that case up trying to get that book deal. Went, yeah. went in there, saw some footage, like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to let you have that on it. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I, I understand it. I didn't think it would be this soon, but yeah. Well, we kind of said when he picked it up, it was weird that he picked up that case. Yeah. Well, you, you nasty for picking it up, regardless of we knew it was what for the happened. You doing it for the attention? Yeah, he was like, doing it for the for the you know the. the I, don't, lot of media. I don't know why he, why he was doing it for the media coverage. What do you mean that OJ case turned all of them into media horse? Every last one of them, he was, even if he they didn't absolutely start out that doing way. this for media coverage for sure. Okay, so you think he doesn't want the media coverage anymore? Well, he probably not, saw at what, what comes cost? With it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what cost? He probably knew that yo, he's dealing with it's a lot of young, upset, angry people, and I'm getting a lot of threats. It's just not, it's not worth it. They pinched another one in the uh, six nine, uh, Treyway case. I get confused with the names, but I did read it, and he pled guilty. Okay. So I think that's seven of the eleven what that was they the, have now. What was the well, you have to. That's the that's the thing about those cases is once somebody tells. Then now it's, it becomes okay. Somebody told, "How do I save myself now at this point? How do I get the lesser sentence?" So people are going to start pleading guilty, and you have to. I mean, and that's what the feds bank on, which is why they play that game of moving somebody to a federal building alone, mm-hmm. because then that starts getting people to say, "Oh, he must be cooperating." So let me cooperate before he does, because once he says this is what happened, I'm fucked. Mm-hmm. And you know that's so now that is that's just the feds let yeah. them it's dominoes, let them take each other down. I'm sure that had something to do with with six nines deal of them being like, yo, everyone's gonna plea. You'll never have to take the stand. Well, Just that, the well that's what I'm saying. Once yeah. somebody tells in the case where we're all in the same case together, you yeah. you, you can't go there and fight by yourself. It's like, yeah. fam, yeah. everybody is telling what happened. Six nine will never have to see a courtroom. You won't have to testify against anyone. None of that <clears> shit. Oh no, you're gonna have to testify. Well, uh, let me rephrase that. Yes, you won't have will. to take the stand because there will be no trial. Got it. Do y'all still think that that uh, I forgot who said it? Uh, which one of y'all said it? Do y'all, it was more. Yeah. Do you you still feel like he can come home and get his music career popping? I never said that. Someone said it. I think that was Rory that said that. Oh yeah, I you never know, said that. It, it, we changed the whole conversation. Completely changed. I was saying these kids don't give a fuck about snitching. That you guys then flipped into me saying he can have a career. <laughs> All right. Well, don't no matter. I'm asking y'all. I'm well, that's what it came off y'all now. No, yeah, no, he's got, he's gonna have to go and win the protection. He no. won't be able to do shit. Which is what I said from the gate. Yeah. There, there will be no. Memory. It's not even about music anymore. This is about just not avoiding doing twenty five years in jail. Yeah, or getting kills. Yeah, like I just want to both. I, yeah, this isn't about coming home to pick up where you left off musically. This is not about that. This is like a, a young kid who does not want to spend twenty five years of his life behind bars. I know. Today, <clears throat> next year. No. Though. No. His mind might be in a different place. It can, it can be, but it won't be. With all your legal troubles behind you. No. All of your um, frenemies. No. We've seen people. Potentially locked we've, up. We've seen people go to jail and go through trials for lesser things and and not, you know, quote unquote snitch or tell on their friends. And they weren't able to pick up their careers where they left off. Like, we've seen this before. It's just 
but this is just a drastic case because his image was so big on a big so big a part of his music. His image was such a big part of his music. That image is gone now. So it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like what does he what does he come back and 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 portray himself as now? Well, that was well, my point earlier saying the, the kids the kids don't care. He could still come back and they would be like, "All right, does it hit? It, it slaps." What's nah. the word they use? No, no, no. No. Well, I, I, yeah, next year I don't want to hear all that screaming. <laughs> Just a little softer. Yeah, yeah, all that screaming <laughs> no. next year with, without uh I no longer have the blicky with the stiffy. Yeah, no, without <laughs> Treyway dude behind you, nah. I don't want to hear you yelling. Yeah, it's not the it's not well, the I, same energy. Not even hypothetically. I don't even think it'll be in the rules of his wit sack shit. Like, I'm sure he, you can't put out music or do anything on the yeah, internet. It would be true <laughs> when you're in witness protection. Yeah, I think that's probably against the rules. I would imagine. Yeah, that one hundred percent against. I don't think you could. <laughs> Y'all can still leak some mixtape. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I can still tour, right? No. <laughs> Your name's Steve now. I can't host that lust. I can't host that lust. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man. it's not a good idea. <laughs> And lust is closed. <laughs> Rest in peace. Uh, let's talk about Rihanna's greatness. Let's let's do that. You're never getting an album that? for the rest of your lives. Where do all we of begin? You. <laughs> Sorry. I think she's gonna do an album, but she is. But when she I think she like is, it. and I think it's gonna come this year. But either way, man. I'm only saying this year because wait, this year is in 2019, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm only saying that because she said it. She kept telling us to look out this year. It's coming. It's coming. But. With this latest fashion news, uh, it's big news. It's big news, and it's a big job. It's a big deal. It's uh, trailblazing. It's monumental. What is she doing? Rihanna will become, and I'm getting this from the Times, Rihanna will become the first woman to create an original brand at LVMH. Rihanna will be the first woman of color at the top of an LVMH, Mason. Uh... And Rihanna's line will be the first new house created by LVMH since Christian LaCroix in 1987. Wow. Congrats, Rihanna. Give her an applause, man. We, we stand. Yeah, let me hear a round of applause for you. Man. Congrats. Uh, big deal. We don't normally see uh, people of color empowered in these types of positions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kanye complained um, about that for yeah, so she's, a long time. She, she's breaking barriers. Uh, it's continuing to break barriers anyway. Uh, and I just don't see when this album is coming. <laughs> I mean, she could do it and not really have to tour, per se. She don't really have to tour, tour. Yeah, she don't really she have to tour. She could do six tour, dates. Tour. Yeah. Six huge dates and call it a tour. Yeah. Well, we know she's been working on an album. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. So we have to get it at some point, especially if she's going to be on Khaled's album. Is that confirmed, though? Nope. But, I mean, if we had a guess, she's yeah. on there. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I still think the album's coming. I think much sooner than we think. I, I, I think this announcement wasn't planned to the degree that her album was, so I don't think this stops anything. How you know the announcement wasn't planned to the degree of her album? I think she's been working on this album and was putting out regardless, and I, I think, I think she's this been next working step on this just too. happened. And regular schedule program. That's all. I don't, I don't think this put put a hitch in anything. Well, whatever it is, I'm waiting. I need to hear some new Rihanna music. Yeah, streets need that. Are we worried at all that she's too occupied with other things to really deliver? No. Nah. nah. Me neither. They're just not just let asking. That just no. asking. <laughs> Doing a pod. No. Got to they, ask. They're not gonna let that happen. Okay, so we don't have anything else on Rihanna. We don't care because we're guys and we don't wear that shit. <laughs> I, think, I think it's amazing Yeah where, where's the Fenty for men Where's some pajamas Huh <laughs> Some slides <laughs> Yeah where's our Without slides the fuzz. All the Fenty, Fenty for men Is in your house Fenty for <laughs> men <laughs> Fenty for men Yeah where's our shit man uh, Do we care about Do we care about The power finale We've been We've been on this We've been ahead of this August 25th Last season Here it is Finally <sighs> Excited No uh, I'll probably watch This is probably but, uh, the first year Where I'm really not excited about it Honestly it's the thank God it's the last season because if it wasn't the last season I probably wouldn't care after yeah. that last one. Yeah, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna watch I want to see things get wrapped up. I want to see how they do it. You I'm excited. Have to, if you've watched all the other seasons, you have to watch the last season. Yeah, yeah. That would almost be like the mind of a fucking psycho killer to not watch the last <laughs> season after you've watched every season before that. But I'm not excited for it. Like it's, I don't know because I feel like they're gonna like they're gonna try to give us a a weird ass storyline this season. And it's gonna be like. Uh, 
Well, it ended. I seen it coming as soon as they was finding parking on Dykeman. Whenever they pulled up in the block, I was like, oh yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> Four cars pull up. Unrealistic. Every, yeah, everybody finds parking and runs right, up in the building. Right in front of the building. Yeah, I know. Good luck with that. Does Ghost die this season? Good die? No. I don't think Does he Does Tommy die this season? Uh, I could see Tommy dying. Tell me, tell I got, me who I got Tommy dies. Dying. I got Tommy dying. I got, uh, why am I blanking on Ghost's wife? Oh, Tasha. Tasha. I got Tasha dying. Oh, everybody's dying. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got everyone but Ghost dying for some weird cryptic. He's the evil person that always makes it. Bullshit. Mm. I think that's I the see it. that's the theory they're going with. Huh? I think Tommy dies. I think uh, Angela dies. I don't think Angela's there. I hope. I, don't I thought she, she died. I th- oh, we don't know. She yeah. got shot. They're going to tie that in. She got shot through the heart. She, she might live. She's alive. <laughs> <laughs> she got shot yeah. through the heart. Yeah, she got shot through the heart, but her heart is ice cold, so it's okay. <laughs> Listen, we saw a ghost stab 50 in the heart in a burning building, and he walked right out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Unscathed, no yeah. scars. Yeah. Word, right ready next season for the beef. <laughs> with some new goons. Looking great. <laughs> Mad moisturized. Um, I don't care about this season. I, I don't care. I am going to watch it, but I don't care. And I'm not sure I care about the prequels that they keep trying to roll out. Hey, this this is over, but... After that, wait till you see how Ghost was born. <laughs> They're doing I'm all, that. I'm all set. In a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you don't right. know that. He was, born, know that. he was born in the streets. Oh. <laughs> His mom delivered him by herself. Yes. No I am interested in that other show that 50's working on, though. Uh, the Big Mish one? Uh, no, not that one. The one about the uh, prison inmate who, who uh, read up on the law and uh, eventually got everybody who worked on his case sent to jail or some shit. Oh, is this like a documentary or it's a, a story or a fictional? I, I, I haven't spoken to 50. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I did, didn't say. It's called Intercepted. It's 50 and Lala. Intercepted. 50 and Lala. Two of Power's Save Finest. Save doing his job. Two of Power's <laughs> Finest. <laughs> Not Two of Power's Finest? It is Two of Power's Finest. Exactly. Uh, um, how many more people owe, owe 50 cent money? <laughs> I need somebody to tell me. Who owes 50 uh, money? Snoop owes him three grand. That's it? Mm-hmm. I, that. I had to check and make sure I didn't owe him money. <laughs> I'm sure you at, do. At the rate he was going, I think everybody owes I might 50. have bootlegged the album, so I probably owe him a little 10, 10 and 9. You better give him his money. The funny shit, it, it don't be him saying, yo, all oh, y'all owe me money. I'd be laughing at the responses. Like, yo, I just paid you. That's <laughs> <laughs> like, like, damn, this guy is like, right. <laughs> like, yeah. People really owe him. Wow, yeah. what a nice guy. Uh, 50, is, <laughs> 50 just be having a wild time in the crib. Just like, yo, let me just check niggas on Instagram real quick. <laughs> I couldn't believe he started all he's that the, shit. He's the boredest, busiest person on earth. Yeah, but do, you think he, but do you think he revs it up at all closer to the... Uh, the premiere of his show. Of course. Oh, he Fifty's a businessman. Everything is for a reason. Every nothing is just random. Everything is tied to something. Trust me on that. He's just it's just funny, like because it's fifty. It's like he's like still the bully. Like he's still <laughs> all these years later, it's like fam. We, everybody's getting older, niggas got kids, like or, he's still trying to bully grown men. <laughs> like, like, what Snoo's, you doing? Snoop's making gospel albums. Yeah, like what are you doing, man? Like I need that three grand. Yeah, like fifty like, just you just decided to no, tally up all your That is wild funny though that that he gave Snoop two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, gave him two hundred and forty seven back. <laughs> That's why y'all getting that? Oh, that was Jackie Snoop. Long. No, that was Jackie Long. That oh, I don't Snoop. know why it said Snoop on there. Snoop was laughing. Oh, Snoop was commentating. Snoop oh, okay. was laughing and he jumped in. But uh, even still, him saying, uh, yeah, you thought I was going to forget that other three. I feel him. <laughs> That's hilarious. For 50 to tell you via Instagram, you think I forgot about that 3,000 you owe me? Come on, 50. God It's, it's going to be some funny shit happening on Instagram this summer. I can just feel it. Oh, uh, every summer. I can feel it. Every, every I know that has nothing to do with anything. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, so, um, summer brings up the mess on Instagram. Yeah. It does. This first quarter, the, the first this first half of 2019 with the albums has just been like lackluster to me. You haven't mentioned it on this podcast. <laughs> Have we? Yeah, every podcast, <laughs> multiple t- multiple times. But why? <laughs> why has it you been lackluster? Be why has it been lackluster though? Because the way like, even really, the whole world came out in 2018 and yeah. they weren't ready to just put something out in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. and that and the way people put out music now is totally different. You can put out whenever you could drop whenever you want. So now people don't. People can come up with the idea of making an album in June and it can be out in August. Like that can happen now in 2019. 
If you record that quickly Yeah But it's a, most artists can I don't want to hear the album From the guy that records that quickly <laughs> Oh you've heard it If you went in in June And came out in August I'm cool You've heard it <laughs> Yeah You can keep that <laughs> Do some more takes You've heard it I'm sure I've heard it But I don't want to hear I'm sure it. there's been hit records in, in this era Oh yeah That was recorded the week prior Absolutely uh, While I was home Looking out the window At the bushes I finally caught up on the act I finished the act They're, in, they're that, in the bushes? No, but uh, I took a break and I cut oh, I thought maybe you looked at like the reflection in the window of the TV. No, 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 no. no. How was it? I do that sometimes. <laughs> one eye in the bush, one eye in the. Um, I didn't like how it ended. I didn't. I didn't like how it ended. For, for you know, you know, it's a true story, it's a true, right? Say, it ended the way it ended. <laughs> yeah, but when you do the reenactment or you, the dramatization, you, you saw Notorious and was like, "Damn, he died." <laughs> We're gonna put that do, do, do back in this fucking thing. <laughs> um. No, but when you get to the end and we know what happened, but now you got to put the words, sentences, paragraphs on the screen like, this person was convicted of life at this point. (laughs) This person cried during the trial and (laughs) they went away. Like, that's what they gave me at the end. They did such a great job at the buildup of the story and the character development and the mom and just showing how sick everybody was. And then at the end, the trial was just like... Yeah, Yeah, it was quick. It was. I was hoping they were going to try to redo the Dr. Phil interview because that would have been pretty funny. Yeah, they just, I don't know. I got to watch that. Uh, they people told me to watch that. I got to watch, it's, it's, it's it. watch the real, like the documentary one. I got to watch the documentary of the Ted Bunny thing, the, the tapes. That too, yeah. I, see I that. watched the movie with Zac Efron. Oh, you watched that? Yeah, that was good. That's what I want to see. Yeah, it was, was good? Yeah, that was really good. He did a good job. The documentary is pretty good too. Is that on Netflix or that was in yeah, theaters? Yeah. Ted Bunny? It's on Netflix. Oh, where? Yeah. I'll yeah. watch that tonight. Yeah, that was good. I watched it the other day. That's great. Uh, they've been shooting, speaking of prequels, uh, they've been shooting the, the All Saints of Newark by me, mm-hmm. like every day. Mm. All Saints of Newark is, is a prequel to... To The Sopranos. Oh, right. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. They've been shooting by my crib. You in it? They shot I have, you? I maybe like in the background, you see <laughs> me in, in regular sweats <laughs> Did they in, in the 60s. <laughs> They're going to see you in the background like the uh, the cup. In like the Game Starbucks of cup? Yeah. yeah. Rory over there handing out fucking emotional orange iPhones. <laughs> yeah, orange iPhones bringing, bringing the street teams back Orange iPhone <laughs> mm. oh, no, I, that, I would get an orange iPhone There you go You would get an orange iPhone too? No oh. Absolutely not Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know Joe will We got a lime green one for He already years. has it Is there anything else we have to discuss Outside of orange <laughs> or, Would you guys get an orange uh, 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 trying to help my guy I, watched, uh, I watched Castle Rock on Hulu That was pretty good What is that? Yeah what's that? Uh they take uh, Shawshank Redemption Prison and like put it in modern time in that town, and this dude is found trapped in a cage in like the abandoned part of the prison, and he can't speak. He only says one word, which is a lawyer that moved away from the town, and then the lawyer comes back to defend the case, and all hell breaks loose. Is it a movie or a series? <laughs> it's a series. It's good. Oh, okay. I enjoyed it. I need something new to watch. I just started, well, it just started, some, some shit on... Uh... HBO called Chronosol, I want to say. I've only seen it once, so that might not be the name. But it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm almost I can't wait to find out what the real name is. <laughs> I think it's I think it's Chronosol, but it's about a nuclear plant in USSR. Chernobyl. 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 <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what I call it? Chromosome is what you call it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chromanol. <laughs> no. That went exactly how Cher- I thought it was going to go. Cher- Chernobyl. Is that exactly? Yeah, Chernobyl, I believe. Chernobyl, Chernobyl. Yes. Chromanol. Chromosome, yeah. <laughs> Great show. Did you see it? No, I've seen the they've had movies about that years ago. Oh, when you I were, didn't see when the you were channel surfing? Yeah. I didn't see the <laughs> breathed over that one. Yeah. When that you put story the logic on pause. Yeah. Well no, that's what I'm saying. That's, yeah, that story is wild though. Yeah. Uh it's one episode out and I started. It's pretty good. Oh, I watch it. I, I trust anything HBO does. See. HBO does a good job. Yeah, they really do. On on life. But the other networks kind of caught up. Like Showtime is good. What do you watch? See, I come from when Showtime is not good. Uh, what's it? They have a lot of good shit. Shameless was the only thing I really like loved on Showtime. My dad loves that memory. show. What's what's the show called? It's ballers? A, no, not Ballers. <laughs> no, you, what's your, my dad what's your ballers. dad got against Ballers? That's on HBO. It's not on Showtime. <laughs> oh, whatever. I know you love it because The Rock is in it. I do love The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don, Billions? What's, what's the guy's name? Something Ray Donovan. Ray, Ray Donovan. Don- yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. That's Showtime, right? Yeah, 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 my dad speaks highly. Listen, of that when show. I click on a little Showtime app, they got a, they got a few shows there that I would look at, and it just never used to be that way. Um, any movies coming out we need to see? The Wu Tang Doc. 
On yeah. Showtime, actually. Now. Oh, oh yeah, it's right now. Don't turn from the game. <laughs> we're not, we're not yeah, we can watch that at any time. Okay, <laughs> got shot in his own apartment. <laughs> I'd have, park, shot, I'd have shot myself. Yeah. Park, park looked like he was looking for the remote. Yeah, yeah, Whoa, yeah, yeah, that was a good yeah. time. Easy, yeah. cowboy. Yeah. This is a good one. Cowboy. This is a barn burner right here. <laughs> oh, the splash. The splash. <laughs> They're back. Uh, I got to give them all this credit. I do. Oh, I got it because you. Well, this you, is rare. And, and wait, actually, before we get into that, let me just step back over to these guys before we leave TV. Do y'all see the Game of Thrones uh, creators or showrunners? They're not watching. <laughs> basically gearing everybody up for some trash. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to tell I told you so to the entire world that's been killing me for the last two months. For what? Game of Thrones? What yeah. are y'all thronies going to do if the finale comes on and it's trash? I'm going to laugh. Because cause you're not a real throne. No, I am. But I know it's coming. It's been getting worse. And no one believes me. Everyone's been killing me. When the two showrunners <laughs> say, hey, we're going to be away from the internet when, when the show airs <laughs> and drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that means they're not trying like, to Like, why would you tell show. us that? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if The Sopranos ending, if Twitter was around. It would have been bad. That would have been bad. That yeah. would have been really bad. Yeah. Twitter wasn't around for that? No. no. Nah. I no. mean, it may have existed, but it nobody didn't was exist. on it. It's not like it is now. It, it, oh, Twitter was, was around. Oh, it might have existed. Yeah. Might. Twitter was around for Boardwalk Empire. Twitter didn't count to like, oh, I hated, yeah. I hated the way Boardwalk ended. Really? I, I like Boardwalk. I hated the way that I don't remember the ending. That show was way too good. I'm trying to remember the ending. Oh, oh, I remember the ending now. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't bad, though. I didn't like it. Huh? Sopranos might have been that that ending, like that ending in the history of TV. Just like fam, I, I hated what did it just then. Do? I, I kind of like it now. Well, you have to say that because you're on set of the prequel now. <laughs> <laughs> you and the oranges. Yeah, they explained it to me. It went over your head. Mm, he opened the door and then what? He Tony Soprano definitely got smoked. Okay, that happened. They should have shown us. <laughs> they did. You saw black. You went from his point of view. Mm. <laughs> you fucking fell for that bullshit. <laughs> you fell the for the camera angle. You don't know. Director's don't believe that. cut edition. <laughs> yeah, Stay and hear the director explain it to you. <laughs> you, you fell for what? that little. No, move. David Chase definitely did the interview all for for them to ask that question. He's like, Nah, I'm not gonna explain it. Y'all gonna laugh at me? I want David go. Chase interviews. If you have some time, go look at them. He is the most miserable interviewee of all time. He looks like he never <laughs> wants to be. He's worse than pop. Like, yo, you just why are you ask me questions in this interview? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that's how he looks every time. Y'all gonna laugh at me? I want to go see that uh, Ma movie. What's Ooh. that? Ma. Ma. What is that? It's a scary movie. It's supposed to be about a black mom that's like mad cool at like a college or something, and she just start killing all the white kids. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm tuned in. <laughs> that, I'm in. That sounds I'm hilarious. Locked <laughs> I'm locked in. When does that come out? It that comes, sounds funny. It comes out soon. Oh, I'm going to see Are that. Are the Wayans brothers behind this one? <laughs> it's called Ma? Yeah, find, find a trailer for Ma. Okay, find the super trailer for Ma. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need more of a story. Her. Yeah, but Where's when the it, when the shit came on, when the shit came on to coming attractions at the uh, at the Avengers Endgame movie, it was, it was like one of them shits was like, all right, fam, I'm not here to see this bullshit. But by the middle of it, it's like, all right, ma, <laughs> ma fuck them white boys up, yeah, killing the shit out of them white boys. <laughs> Do we know when it comes out? or No. And none of this is an ad, by the way. I'm just, just, <laughs> all, all this should be sounding like Addy. <laughs> All right, we don't care about that. LeBron's getting traded. Maul said that that was going to happen uh, months ago. We laughed him out the room because everything he says about ball is dumb. But he's right again. <laughs> is he? Well, Listen, man. just about the conversation uh, coming up. Maul brought this conversation up, I, I want to say, prior to the beginning of the season. Yeah. And now it is. Here we are at the end of the year. The Lakers not in the playoffs, and all of the pundits want to talk about Trade him, or Genie Bus is talking about trading him, or we should trade him. I'm like, fam, how does you have trade? To. They're not trading LeBron. You have to. You have to. You can't. It, it didn't work out. I said it. I said it when LeBron went to the Lakers, and nobody didn't understand as a Laker fan why I wasn't jumping up and down. LeBron James was never supposed to wear a Lakers jersey. Period. It just was not supposed to happen. I get it. You want to be in LA? Where and for what? I mean, what, 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 what do you get back? He's going for to the LeBron? Clippers. He's going to get a lot of young players, uh, some draft picks, I'm sure. But um, yeah, man, mm. it's not gonna work out. It's, it's you just gotta cut it now. KD, Kyrie, LeBron, Jimmy Butler, and Zion. 
<laughs> Nick's looking all right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's just not. It's just something that just wasn't supposed to happen. They tried it. They tried it. Things don't work out. But I think the Lakers are looking at it like, okay, we need to start thinking about fixing it. Taylor LeBron's new mellow. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I wouldn't go that far. He's not the new mellow. It just didn't work out. Are we gonna get a? Uh, I'm just a boy from Ohio rollout to go back to Cleveland. No, I don't think he'll go back to Cleveland. No, I don't think that's happening. He don't want to play with uh, Colin Saxton. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he'll go back to Cleveland. It's not his number two. That's, that's not. That's not the new Kyrie. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, Mother's Day. We talk about Mother's Day. Oh yes. Happy what Mother's are you, what are mothers? You guys all the are mothers. y'all are trash. <laughs> Thanks, man. And going out on Mother's Day is trash. Like Super. everybody's oh, no, out. Not, it's, yeah. No, me and my mom are already on the same page about that. Well, I, that's why I love my mom because she's not with all that. Oh, that's why you love crowd. your crowd. Yeah, <laughs> she was just like, yo, just it's it. okay. yeah, she was like, fam, she'll be girl, tripping I'm, on Mother's we Day. Definitely not doing all of that in crowded restaurants and all. Yeah, She's I'm, like, we could do something during the week or Saturday. I'll probably cook or something. My mom is on the same thing. Yeah, like th- that Sunday vibe is just, just way too much going on. And if you didn't get a reservation in enough time, you're not. You're it's not over. Even, yeah. Forget about it. You guys, not trying to go to Red Lobster. On Mother's I'm Day. cool. <laughs> Olive Garden. Tell my mother, I'd be beefing about the fucking church crowd when I'm trying to eat on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, so that on top of Mother's Day. That yeah. with the moms? Yeah. With the moms. You ever notice how empty the streets be on Father's Day, though? Like the restaurant? You go up, get reservation. Oh, yeah. Every, everywhere. <laughs> Where, wherever you want to yeah. go. Yeah, sit. Pick, pick a <laughs> table. There's yeah. a coupon for free food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be like, pick a table. I'm like, damn. So nobody took their dads out? Like, all right. That's what's up. No, so my, my son's taking me out on Father's Day. Father's Day's in June, right? Next month? June 16th. Yeah, Mother's Day is just getting everybody prepared for Father's Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. up. That's what <laughs> roll out. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, where uh, that's, that's what today is? <laughs> all right, so Maul's not going out with his mom. Parks is no. not going to Buffalo. Uh, I'll probably cook for my mom, something like that. Oh, shit. You're cooking for mom? I cook for my mom a lot. Okay. What you gonna make? Shepherd's pie? I could make some shepherd's, shepherd's pie. Corned beef and cabbage? I'm going to get more some shepherd's pie, man. Yo, wait, who did, wait, was it you or Joe had never heard of shepherd's pie? I've no, never I've, heard of shepherd's pie. I used to make a great shepherd's okay, pie. Okay, never mind. Then it's Joe. I got to make Irish. you some shepherd's pie. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. Shepherd's pie is good. It's amazing. All right, what is it? It's peasant food. It's, it's ground beef. It's like, it's like beef soup, beef, mashed potatoes, dry, veggies. With mashed potatoes on And you top. bake it. Yeah. <laughs> and you bake it. You no, it no, no salt. Yeah, no. You put it in the oven, you let it bake a little bit, and you just... Why would I eat that? It's delicious. It's actually it's good. Not as, it's actually pretty good. No, it's good. All right, it's like a beef pot pie kind of. Yes, that's it's probably like a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beef mashed beef potatoes on top sounds beef gross. Beef though. Though. Had other shit to eat. Yeah, there. no, but it, it is pretty good. No, Actually, really good. you would like because you like like sloppy, messy food and red meat. Yeah, and he yeah. loves red meat. So shepherd's pie. Yeah. Well, it's pretty good. Give it a shot. It's well, thank you. well, you gotta be careful. Shout I don't sometimes in restaurants. What shepherds in Wall's family? <laughs> Maul well, Shepherd I am the shepherd Maul's yeah. the shepherd yeah, You, you, sh- you, you shep the work That's you in there Shepping it up Yeah that's me You got me Oh wait, no I'm not eating Shepherd, uh, shepherd pie uh, Alright I think that's everything They didn't want to talk about Drake's judge yet And where he's really going <laughs> We spoke about Calabasas it. We ain't really talk about yeah, Cal- Calabasas going? to London Where do you need to go In that Calabasas thing? and Toronto it's a long flight. That they, is a long flight. That nigga just doing donuts around Kanye house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame it. Yo, just flying around. <laughs> Playing <Kanye>. sickle mode. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a 747 this low above someone's crib, <laughs> knocking all the shit off the wall. That's a sick rich yeah, ass game. Them, them get the North play. pictures off the wall, nigga. <laughs> that's, that's a sick ass game. Them rich niggas is playing with each other. I'm gonna fly my 757 100 feet above your house, buddy. <laughs> the fuck? Uh, oh, congratulations to, to Kim and Kanye. Oh yes, they had a baby today. Oh yes, oh, round sure. of applause. Round of applause. Uh, I think Kim said. It was- Healthy kids, so that's that's great. Shout out to them. Yeah, congrats. Congratulations to them. Yeah, that's great. Ah, uh, that was great. That was great. You guys are great. This Thanks, has so. all You're been great. great. Uh, sleepers, uh, the sleepers today reminded me. I don't, I don't know. Songs with four hooks in them. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Three verses. Four I was hooks. just about to say, you guys remember remember the third verse? <laughs> it's a time of the past. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Yeah, we're <laughs> totally I like your sweats. Oh, thank you. It's a cool color. Well, I appreciate that. Trying to trying to wear bright to feel bright. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I take back my compliment. No, fine. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> y'all are stupid. Uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? 
your little poem. <laughs> oh yeah, give us your bars. <laughs> All right. Like, like. <laughs> All right, guys. By law, by law. <laughs> by law, by law. <laughs> Glory is an idiot. <laughs> Well, I like the song. I love that record. Actually, I do. Then everybody chill out then. <laughs> Joe uh, fucked that album up. We'll talk about that personally. Oh Joe fucked that up. God. Listen, did. life is a series of moments <laughs> <laughs> and moments past. So let's make this one last before Maul starts talking again. <laughs> <laughs> Remix. <laughs> Until next Thought time. I told you that we won't stop. We, we... Oh, my God. Yes, Yo, every. Yes, Rory. Rory keep pulling up from 40 <laughs> feet out, man. <laughs> and he's up. He's just not even down. Yeah, what the fuck? He's just pulling, jacking that shit. Um, Pause. Uh, until next time, uh, adios, Derchi. farewell. Uh, we bid you adieu, peace. Uh, I'm forgetting some this time, but I don't give a fuck. We're getting out of Life here, man. Life is a series of moments. It's, no, no, it's sad that the moment has passed. Oh, okay. The moment has passed. Talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>